Chapter 3501 When the Feng Fu Stars Violet Kai merged with the 108,000 stars, a layer of violet mist also appeared on top of the 108,000 stars. Search Novaloon Calm for the original Novaloon Palm the barren star sea was now filled with violet kai spots, becoming even more beautiful and mysterious. As the 108,000 stars were nourished by the violet kai, they began to throng with the rhythm of life. Every star seemed to be undergoing an awakening. This was Long Chen's first time feeling like the cores of the 108,000 stars were creating life. They were like tiny seeds that were being summoned. Starry Sea births Violet Kai. For some reason, Long Chen actually shouted out such a thing. Furthermore, the moment he did so, his 108,000 stars were like soldiers of an army that had just heard an imperial edict. Endless power gushed out of them. Long Chen jumped in shock and hastily suppressed the 108,000 stars. The violet star sea within his divine ring also slowly faded. Is this the name of my manifestation? Long Chen was shocked. In the mortal world, only supreme manifestations had their own names. Whereas in the immortal world, only manifestations that had obtained the recognition of heaven and earth could have their own names. Ever since arriving in the immortal world, he had never heard of anyone with a named manifestation. Also, this name wasn't created by himself, but something that existed innately. When the manifestation was born, the master's mind would naturally speak its name. It was the manifestation telling its name to the master. Aha, so I actually have my own manifestation. Long Chen was delighted. The seventh star... The violet tower star had yet to even condense, but his manifestation had appeared. It seemed that the seventh star was truly amazing. However, Long Chen didn't dare to summon his manifestation yet. His violet kai was too sparse. It seemed that summoning it now was out of the question. The 108,000 stars were embryos in a hazy state. He was worried that if he used their power in this state, it would affect their future growth. However, just now, Long Chen had felt an unprecedented power. He knew that when his manifestation appeared, even if it was in its current state, the power it would give him would far surpass the six-star battle armor. Right now, only the Feng Fu star had transformed. He was unable to imagine what would happen if the Alif, life, fate, and other stars also transformed, and then the violet tower star condensed. With them all supporting each other, what kind of transformation would they bring him? Long Chen was filled with anticipation. After all these days of refining, Huo Linger could already refine pills with the demon moon furnace and the moon and star refining furnace, all without Long Chen's help furthermore. Long Chen had gradually grown accustomed to his new cultivation base and was starting to consume divine lord pills to reach higher realms. Long Chen only consumed the pills that he refined himself. The rest of the pills that he had, he didn't touch a single one. They were all traded to the Huayan Trading Company. The Huayan Trading Company truly was impressive. They helped him gather a huge amount of medicinal ingredients. Long Chen estimated that they would be enough to refine another 500,000 Violet Tower pills. However, Long Chen knew that this definitely wasn't enough. He was still missing a great deal. Hence, Long Chen entrusted the Huayan Trading Company with helping him gather more. Kai Fang herself was shocked. It had to be known that she had essentially emptied the stocks of these ingredients in all the shops of the Huayun Trading Company in the Violet Flame Heaven. However, there was no way they could completely empty their stores. Having nothing to sell was a taboo for merchants. But for Long Chen, the Huayun Trading Company only kept the tiniest bits for themselves. The rest were all traded to Long Chen. And yet, it still wasn't enough. When Kai Fang asked Long Chen how much he needed, he said that he needed at least three times what she had gathered. 
causing her to suck in a cold gasp of air. Kai Fang could only say that she would help him think of a way. Long Chen felt like they could always buy more ingredients from others, but Kai Feng said that gathering these ingredients in such quantities would definitely cause the price to skyrocket. Some other merchants might even intentionally stock up on them just to drive the price higher and make a profit. Furthermore, many forces like the Soaring Dragon Company were intentionally targeting the Huayan Trading Company. They would definitely not allow the Huayan Trading Company to do as they pleased then it would be even harder to gather these ingredients money long chen was already indifferent to it in any case all his money was snatched from others if it ran out he would go snatch some more the question was how to gather those ingredients the faster the better in the end kai feng decided to first use secret means to see how much she could gather once she couldn't gather any more with this means she would raise the price. During this time, Kai Feng asked Long Chen what attitude he had toward the Soaring Dragon Company. Was he planning on borrowing the Huayan Trading Company's power to make the scandal of the Soaring Dragon Company known to the public? However, Long Chen shook his head. Now still wasn't the time. If they were to announce it now, the Soaring Dragon Company would simply toss out some scapegoats pushing all the responsibility onto them. Then they would spend some money, hiring some people to prove their innocence, and everything would be solved. That would be letting them off far too easily. In any case, Long Chen had the proof in his hands. On the Soaring Dragon Company's ship, he had kept a photographic jade activated in the primal chaos space to record everything he saw. With this proof... Long Chen wasn't afraid. Right now, he was treating the Soaring Dragon Company as a money tree. Whenever he ran out of money, he would shake it a bit and see what came out. Long Chen was relaxed. He could go loot them whenever he wanted. But if instead he announced this matter to everyone and the Soaring Dragon Company washed away their sins, he would have no reason to attack them. It would be cutting off his own path to wealth. When Kai Feng heard Long Chen's thoughts, she was dumbfounded, but she loved it. As for Long Chen, he also asked Kai Feng about the attitude of the higher-ups of the Huayan Trading Company. She said that the higher-ups wanted to hear Long Chen's opinions. Later on, they really did listen to his opinions and then simply continued to carry out their business peacefully. Long Chen had gained the most complete information on the violet flame heaven from Kai Fang. He then read up on this place's history, as well as the origins of some sects and major powers. Only then did Long Chen learn just how much more complicated the violet flame heaven was compared to what he had thought. There were numerous ancient inheritances. The peace on the surface was hiding an unknown number of major figures. Long Chen also found the location of the Nine Underworld Hall. Just as he had expected, they occupied their own territory, and that territory that they had taken over was called the Nine Underworld Island. The exterior was a sea of mist, a land of chaotic currents. It was all too easy to get lost there. Adding on some maze formations, no one else dared to approach that area. The Misty Sea was a trial region for the Nine Underworld Hall's disciples. Countless disciples were hidden there, killing each other and fighting over the spots to get promoted. It was the most treacherous training ground. Those who entered would become prey for them to assassinate. Ever since the Nine Underworld Hall had occupied the Nine Underworld Island, no outsiders had entered. Thus, no one outside the Nine Underworld Hall knew the situation inside. This is a bit troublesome. I'm no expert at formations. It seems that I need to find Xia Chen first. Long Chen was a layman when it came to formations. Even if he was powerful, this was one of the Nine Underworld Hall's nine major halls. His power would be like an egg being thrown against a rock against it. He would need to take a better approach when it came to this matter. However, other than the Nine Underworld Island, 
there were many other areas that moved him. One of them was the ruins of the Starry River Palace. Legend had it that the Starry River Palace's inherited cultivation technique was also called the Starry River of the Sky Art. This discovery gave him a rush of excitement. After informing the Huayan Trading Company, he directly set off for the ruins of the Starry River Palace. Chapter 3502, the Starry River Palace, was located in the violet flame heaven. It was once a glorious major sect, but all that remained was ruins. However, the name of the Starry River of the Sky Art still drew countless people over. In the immortal world, the Starry River of the Sky Art was no secret. Many ancient sects had records of it. Even so, the Starry River of the Sky Art had many versions, and they were essentially all incomplete. Many had the start but no end. After cultivating it to a certain extent, there was no continuing it. The High Firmament Academy had the most complete Starry River of the Sky Art, but Long Chen had looked over it and found many areas that didn't match. There was no way to link them all together. For this matter, he had gone to ask Bai Leshen only to learn that the Starry River of the Sky Art was extremely mysterious, and only portions of it had appeared in the world. Thus, no one had a full version. As for the different versions of the Starry River of the Sky Art in the hands of the major forces, in truth, they were also true versions. But their opinions differed, and no one could say which version was definitely right or definitely wrong. As long as someone was capable of cultivating it, then it proved that this cultivation technique was correct. As for their future path, they would need to comprehend it themselves. If they couldn't comprehend it, they could only switch cultivation techniques. However, switching their cultivation technique would use up a huge amount of time and effort. It could even cause problems in their foundation. Thus, the Academy did not encourage disciples to cultivate the Starry River of the Sky Art. Furthermore, the Starry River of the Sky Art was too domineering, and it was like walking along the edge of a sword. There were countless dangers, and the majority of those who cultivated it didn't have good endings. Those who managed to cultivate it did benefit at the start, but by the middle or end, their paths were severed. They were unable to continue any longer. Ultimately, they could only go back and choose a new cultivation technique. Thus, the Academy treated the starry river of the sky art as taboo. After all, cultivating it was far too dangerous and didn't bring many benefits. It wasn't worth it. However, Long Chen had been in the ruins of the Starry River sect, so he knew that the Starry River of the Sky Art was related to the Nine Star Hegemon Body Art. The Starry River Sage had created an entirely new path with this cultivation technique. The Starry River sect was founded by the Starry River Sage's greatest disciple, Lai Sing. Furthermore, this Starry River Palace was also a place for cultivating the Starry River of the Sky Art. It hooked Long Chen's curiosity. When he arrived at the ruins of the Starry River Palace, Long Chen found that this place wasn't as empty as he had expected. People were coming and going, and there were always more people entering. It seemed that Long Chen wasn't the only one drawn over here by its reputation. Furthermore, it wasn't just the human race. There were other life forms as well. However, they didn't seem too friendly. They always looked at humans with sideways glances. This place was no longer the Yu Prefecture. It was once more a lawless place, so fights often erupted here. People had long since grown accustomed to it. When Long Chen entered the ruins, he finally saw an intact building. Moreover, this building had a statue. When he saw it, he instantly recognized it to be the Starry River Sage. There were words carved into the base of the statue. It seemed that there was a formation protecting the words, making it impossible to see what was written. There were also nine stone steps in front of the statue. There were many experts here, pointing at the steps and discussing things. Long Chen's arrival didn't draw any attention. 
everyone's attention was on the stone steps. When Long Chen got close, he found that every step was carved with characters. There were also some fragmentary star diagrams. Quite a few experts were sitting before the stone steps, meditating on those characters and diagrams. Second generation GLI immortal characters. Long Chen was surprised when he saw those characters. He didn't even fully recognize third generation GLI immortal characters, let alone second generation ones. However, from their auras, Long Chen could guess what they meant. Human, get further away. I don't like your scent. Long Chen had just gotten close to the stone steps when a horned life form looked at Long Chen with disgust. Long Chen's response was a slap in the face, and this unlucky life form smashed into the distant ruins, causing dust to explode. Everyone was startled. That life form possessed a startling blood kai and was very tyrannical. Although it wasn't to the point that everyone was afraid of him, no one wished to provoke him. What is an animal here for? What are you pretending to comprehend? As if you could understand anything, sneered Long Chen disdainfully. Damn human race, you are courting death. That life form was enraged. He came flying out of the ruins, just about to fight to the death with Long Chen, when Long Chen kicked a fist-sized rock at him. Well, the rock smashed into his teeth and entered his mouth. He passed out. Rat, are you provoking my demonic beast race? A large and muscular expert came out of the crowd, glaring at Long Chen. By calling that person an animal, Long Chen was essentially insulting the entire demonic beast race. That person's blood kai unfurled and his body rumbled. It was like there was a volcano within him containing endless power. However, this life form had no particular marks on him to show which race he was from. Based on the pressure that he exuded, though, he definitely wasn't a good character to provoke. I really dislike hearing that. If you feel like I'm provoking you, then just attack. Don't be so wishy-washy. Boss Long San has seen plenty of demons, devils, and ghosts before. If you want to fight, then come at me. Don't waste your saliva. Long Chen didn't even glance at that person, instead walking to the steps. Don't. When people saw him raise his foot to climb the step, they cried out. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. The runes on the step beneath Long Chen's feet suddenly lit up. As a result, Long Chen felt an immense force rise out from below, and a certain star amongst his 108,000 stars was quivering. Long Chen instantly felt like some power above the heavens was quivering with it. When that energy quivered, the air grew tranquil. The other experts present all stared in shock at Long Chen. It had to be known that everyone else who stepped onto the stairs would be blasted off, blood pouring out of their seven orifices. Some people were even directly killed. Thus, some people kindly warned him not to when they saw him try. Following that, Long Chen stepped onto the second stair and it lit up. This time, Long Chen took note of three stars quivering amongst the 108,000 stars. Furthermore, above the nine heavens, he sensed three stars in some area sensing him. Long Chen then stepped onto the next stair. This time, nine stars lit up in his body. At the same time, from a distant star field, he sensed nine different locations resonating with him. Long Chen continued all the way to the ninth stair. In front of countless dumbfounded gazes, a starry diagram appeared up in the sky, illuminating all the ruins. This is it. Everyone was shocked, staring in disbelief at that star diagram. Someone then cried out emotionally. I understand, I understand. This is the legendary manifestation. Starry river hangs in the sky. When that person said this, countless people almost exploded with excitement. Chapter 3503 Starry Ritter Hangs in the Sky Isn't that the manifestation that can only be awakened when the starry river of the sky art 
is trained to its highest realm. Countless experts stare at the star diagram in the sky emotionally. The majority here were cultivators of the starry river of the sky art. Some of them had reached the peak of the immortal king realm. However, it was there that their cultivation paths came to an end. They could see a path ahead of them, but the path was broken and they couldn't cross. Cultivating the starry river of the sky art had changed their lives. There was no need to doubt its power. In the same realm, with the same aptitude, those who cultivated the starry river of the sky art were almost all excellent figures of their generation. It was unknown just how many people had been forced by circumstances to change their fates with this technique despite knowing that their future paths would be severed. Anyone capable of taking the first step would essentially be on an extraordinary path, although their cultivation path would be thorny and surrounded by dangers, the starry river of the sky art would bring them endless power. Perhaps it could be said that everything they currently had was given to them by the starry river of the sky art. Hence, although they had managed to get through their past crisis, even though there was still time for them to change cultivation techniques, they were unwilling. They didn't wish to abandon the starry river of the sky art. Countless cultivators of the starry river of the sky art had come to the violet flame heaven just to comprehend the runes and diagrams on these stone stairs. They hoped that it would connect the path forward for them. Countless experts had even spent their entire lifetimes here. They were willing to throw away their cultivation, letting their cultivation bases stay the same as they grew old and eventually died of old age rather than changing cultivation techniques. Some people had tried climbing the nine stairs, but when they stepped onto the first stair, the star in their body would crack. Some of them even directly blew up. Later on, people came to theorize that the stone steps were a warning left to the heirs of the starry river of the sky art. To step on the stairs was to disrespect the starry river of the sky art. The stone steps were for comprehending, not for climbing. However, today Long Chen had climbed them up. Seeing the starry river manifestation, everyone was filled with emotion. Some of them even wept. It was at this time that countless experts came flooding out of the rest of the ruins to gather here. There were millions of them. The majority of these people were cultivators of the starry river of the sky art. Many of them were already old, on the verge of having their longevity run out. But they had still come and were even more emotional than the others. Someone had activated the starry river manifestation. Did that not signify that the starry river of the sky art had been inherited in its complete form? Senior, how did you do this? asked an elder with a quivering voice. He was an immortal king. Despite his old age, he still called Long Chen Senior respectfully. Search Navalun Com for the original. Long Chen then waved his hand to everyone, indicating for them to be silent. After that, he looked up at that starred diagram. His mind was immersed within it, comprehending its profundities. Seeing that, people didn't even dare to breathe loudly. The starry river manifestation hung in the sky, covering the dome of the heavens. As a result, countless experts descended upon this place. Even world kings appeared. The starry river above the heavens seemed to be transforming according to some mysterious law. It seemed alive, showing something to everyone. Even those unfamiliar with the starry river of the sky art knew that it was definitely showing some high-level law. Suddenly, the starry river quivered and the stars gradually dimmed until they vanished. The world returned to its original appearance, but now the ruins were packed with people. Everyone's gaze concentrated on Long Chen. Senior, can you tell us how you did this? Asked an elder emotionally. All the cultivators of the starry river of the sky art were filled with longing. They all viewed Long Chen as the hope for their futures. Sir, did you see the complete inheritance of the starry river of the sky art? Asked a second heaven stage world king. 
Quite a few world kings were starting to slowly approach Long Chen. Some were even so wanton as to lock onto him with their spiritual strength. Clearly, these world kings had also seen the clues. If Long Chen had seen the complete inheritance of the starry river of the sky art, then whoever obtained the secret might be able to create another starry river palace. The starry river of the sky art's reputation was too great. Although it currently could only be cultivated to the immortal king realm, countless people were still willing to cut off their future paths just to cultivate it. The starry river of the sky art was just that strong. That's right, I obtained the full inheritance of the starry river of the sky art, said Long Chen indifferently. An uproar exploded amongst the people. He actually admitted to it. Did he not want his life any longer? Amazing. Arrows truly do appear amongst the youth. At such a young age, you already ran into such an opportunity. Young friend, come to my seven-star gate. I'll give you the position of deputy gate master, said a second heaven stage world king. What a stingy person. Deputy gate master. How laughable. Young friend, come to my magnificent clear Tao sect. I will abdicate the position of sect master to you, said a skinny elder. These two experts were major figures. But now they were fighting over Long Chen and clashing with each other. What they wanted was not Long Chen, it was the starry river of the sky art. Senior, don't listen to them. Since you've obtained the complete inheritance of the starry river of the sky art, can't you rebuild the starry river palace? All of us would be willing to follow you as palace master. Let us work hard together to restore the starry river palace to its former glory, shouted a cultivator. That's right, we are willing to follow you to death, declared a cultivator of the starry river of the sky art. They all viewed Long Chen as their last hope. If Long Chen was taken away and refused to teach them, they would still be stuck at their current bottlenecks. They didn't know what had happened, but they had witnessed the starry river manifestation. They could all see that it had told Long Chen something, but they were unable to see what it was. If Long Chen was willing to teach them, then their future prospects would be opened. But if Long Chen didn't want to, then their journey would essentially stop here. They were seeing more and more world kings step forward. They extended invitations to Long Chen, but from their ominous gazes and occasional spiritual fluctuations, it was clear that they were sending him spiritual transmissions. Most likely, they were threatening him. However, even the strongest cultivator of the starry river of the sky art here was merely an immortal king. How were they supposed to fight these world kings? They were fraught with worry. At this moment, Long Chen narrowed his eyes. Several people had started to threaten him once their bait failed, irritating him. Suddenly, the void shuddered and several figures appeared in front of Long Chen, reaching out to capture him. They had actually chosen to forcibly drag him away. Hence, startled cries rang out. As a result, a blood-colored light slashed through the air, and six figures were cut into twelve pieces. Those twelve pieces then fell to the ground with a light sound. Everyone was dumbfounded. Right now, the Minglong saber returned to its sheath with a light sound, like a hammer striking people's hearts. Who else wants the complete inheritance of the starry river of the sky art? Long Chen acted like he had done something completely inconsequential. He flicked off some dust on his robes, looking around indifferently. Chapter 3504 The Sound of the Saber Echoed Through the Air Those people that had attacked Long Chen were now lying on the ground. They would lie there forever until someone moved them. Six world kings were instantly annihilated. Furthermore, Long Chen's expression was still completely flat. It gave everyone chills. That was especially true of those that had wanted to capture Long Chen and force him to spit out the complete starry river of the sky art. Cold sweat covered their backs. 
long chin struck too quickly and ruthlessly all of them had misjudged him based on his cultivation base and age when long chen's gaze swept over them their hair stood on end they were so terrified that they involuntarily took a few steps back looking at those world kings long chen sneered disdainfully these fools were unable to even tell the difference between the strong and the weak for them to have lived so long was truly a miracle Novelun, come seeing that these world kings weren't moving and were fully shaken long chen turned back toward those cultivators all cultivators of the starry river of the sky art calm your hearts listen to my words this is the key principle of the starry river of the sky art no matter what version of the starry river of the sky art you cultivate you will be able to follow these different paths to the same end you will reach the other shore blood startled cries rang out from every one long chen was actually going to share the key principle of the starry river of the sky art with them senior you cannot this starry river of the sky art is a secret of the starry river line how can it be shared with the public if a bad person or other races were to learn it wouldn't it bring a calamity upon all life said one expert quite a few experts expressions changed those experts weren't humans they were precisely life forms of other races and that person's words were clearly targeting them however long chen was so powerful although they were enraged they didn't retort long chen shook his head the grand Tao is formless and love is boundless good and evil are not differentiated by race the human race has good and bad the other races are the same do not take one part to be the whole are you going to stop eating for fear of choking when he said this those various life forms were all grateful those words made them feel very comfortable long chen continued moreover the starry river of the sky arch is a supreme yang cultivation technique those who cultivate it must innately be straightforward people the clash of yin and yang might not kill those schemers if they gave up quickly enough but if they forced it they would lose their life thus the starry river of the sky arch is innately an honorable and above board cultivation technique and we should not restrict others from cultivating it instead it should be spread far and wide so that the starry river line can spread its branches and leaves only by gaining disciples and growing healthy branches throughout the world can we live up to the sweat and blood of the starry river sage hearing that everyone finally understood long chen's intention they couldn't help admiring his magnanimity i will begin reciting the true scripture everyone memorize it with your hearts everyone instantly listened with rapt attention they sat lotus style and clasped their hands together looking reverent even the world kings grew solemn and listened seriously the grand Tao is the epitome of utmost simplicity it starts with one and ends with nine the stars in the sky are endless when the starry river flows the grand Tao connects search for one dot to start long chen began to recite the sutra this was the true essence that he had comprehended from the starry river manifestation he now shared it with every one perhaps it was fate this starry river palace was created by another disciple of the starry river sage just like lai zing they all remembered their master fondly and inherited their master's Zhao. they even abandoned their old names calling themselves zing after the starry river this disciple of the starry river sage was very intelligent and actually managed to preserve part of his inheritance when someone managed to walk up the nine stone steps the starry river manifestation would appear then the key principle of the starry river of the sky art would appear when long chan obtained this principle he also understood the thoughts of these two disciples of the starry river sage they didn't care about anything else they only hoped for this cultivation technique to continue to be passed down and they didn't need anyone to remember them 
it was enough for the people to remember their master the starry river sage long chen felt great admiration for the starry river line that was why he acted according to their will spreading the starry river of the sky art as far as possible the scripture had three parts the first part was an overview the second part was the principle of how to circulate the cultivation technique and the third part was how to solve the most commonly encountered problems while cultivating it long chan recited for almost an hour before finishing with all three segments after he was done some sweat appeared on his forehead in order to deepen everyone's impression of it his voice was backed by his spiritual strength as a result these words were imprinted in their souls they would never forget them in this lifetime many thanks for this kindness senior i will never forget this favor for the rest of my life after hearing the complete scripture those cultivators of the starry river of the sky art all wept and kowtowed toward long chen seeing this long chen waved his hand and a gentle force lifted them up long chen smiled there's no need to thank me i was only lucky to obtain the complete starry river of the sky art if you truly want to thank someone thank the starry river sage it was this ancient almighty senior that created the starry river of the sky art however he ultimately died due to endless dao wounds he used his own life to create the starry river of the sky art this is a senior worthy of respect of course saying anything is just empty words if you truly want to thank the starry river sage then once you're strong enough transmit the starry river of the sky art as far and wide as possible find those with righteous hearts and transmit this cultivation technique that suits them hearing that everyone kowtow toward the statue of the starry river sage long chen's selflessness only caused them to feel greater reverence for him all right then everyone if you have any questions please ask i will do my best to answer all of them said long chen hearing that everyone went wild with delight someone hastily said senior forgive this disciple for his foolishness but what does it mean in the scripture when it says one star one matter one star one me one matter one me astral energy courses countless cultivators instantly looked at long chan with anticipation they also didn't understand the matter is the outside the me is the inside when you forget the matter and yourself you will enter true stillness cultivators must not look at themselves they must look in the distance use the heart as a mirror the soul as water sometimes the flower in the mirror and the moon in the water are not just reflections this is what it means for the heavens to be one with the person if the flower and moon do not exist then where did the flower in the mirror come from where did the moon in the water come from said long chen you mean that disciple suddenly raised his head and looked at the heavens an expression of wild delight appeared on his face long chen simply smiled the others also came to understand long chen's words were filled with profundities and yet they were simple to understand these words directly entered their souls making them feel as if the clouds had parted more questions came and long chen answered every single one no matter the question his learning impressed even world kings they all made guesses as to what the origins of this mysterious black-robed youngster were after an hour of questions all the doubts of the cultivators of the starry river of the sky art had been answered however how many of them would actually comprehend the full things would depend on their talent and aptitude long chen suddenly stood and stretched lazily he smiled at everyone everyone let us meet again Boot. suddenly without any warning long chen struck the void with his saber the void shattered and four wretched world kings came tumbling out third heaven stage world kings startled cries rang out one of those world kings received long chen's saber and coughed up blood the other three 
were just about to surround Long Chen when he transformed into a bolt of lightning that vanished from this world. You old dogs, just wait. Boss Long San will sooner or later take your dog lives. Long Chen had vanished, but his cold snort rang throughout the ruins. In the end, only four furious elders and a group of dumbfounded people were left in the ruins of the Starry River Palace. Search Novelune, com for the original. Chapter 3505 A third heaven stage world king of the Soaring Dragon Company was struck by Long Chen just as the void shattered, leaving him with no room to unleash his power. He was injured by Long Chen's attack. Are you all right? The other third heaven stage world kings hastily came up to him. I'm fine, but that damn bastard got away again, said that world king hatefully. This Long San is too slippery. We can't catch him. The other world kings felt helpless. They had rushed over as soon as they received the information and had even used fixed transportation talismans to prepare to capture Long Chen instantly. However, he had still sensed it and struck first. Fortunately, the four of them had arrived together. If it was just one or two, they might have been in danger of being killed. Why are you looking at? Scram. Seeing these people staring at them in shock, that injured elder was enraged and barked at them. This place isn't your soaring dragon company. Who do you think you are to push people around? No wonder the soaring dragon company's reputation can never reach the level of the Huayan trading company no matter how much business they do, snorted a world king. Who didn't have a temper? The Soaring Dragon Company, no matter how powerful they were, were still businessmen. Businessmen had to be amiable and courteous. Otherwise, what business would you get from others? This elder infuriated all of them with just a few words. This was the chaotic Star Sea, and this place was the ruins of the Starry River Palace. No one had the right to push people around here. A quick look at Navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled. The elder was simply driven crazy by Long Chen. He had even coughed up blood from being injured. And it was only due to this anger that he shouted at those spectators. He had forgotten that they weren't here to watch and laugh at him. They were originally here. Everyone, our apologies. This elder was hoping to capture a murderer and thief but we ended up letting him get away. Everyone, don't be tricked by that long sen. He is from the dark light heaven, and when our soaring dragon company kindly ferried him over, he actually repaid kindness with enmity, slaughtering the millions of experts on the ship, and even plundering our wealth. He is incredibly evil, so much that there is no describing it. My soaring dragon company has announced a bounty on him. Anyone who helps us find his trail will be bestowed one million immortal king crystals. But if someone can kill him, we will immediately pay you three hundred million immortal king crystals and a world domain divine item. You would also become the highest level VIP of our soaring dragon company. Everyone, if you find any clues, remember to inform our soaring dragon company. Thank you. The four of them flew off in the direction where Long Chen had gone. Clearly, they were pursuing him. However, they also knew that with his speed, even if they used the blood evasion art, they wouldn't be able to catch up. They were just doing this for everyone to see. Long San? So he's that boss Long San. A startled cry rang out. Those who paid attention to the news had all heard that a person was plundering the Soaring Dragon Company, and that this person called himself Boss Longsen. HMPH, the Soaring Dragon Company, is nothing good. Just how selfless is Boss Longsen? He shared a priceless treasure like the starry river of the sky art with all of us. How can he be someone greedy for other people's wealth? That's right, if he was such an evil person, would he have gone to such efforts to teach us? As long as he said that he was auctioning the complete starry river of the sky art, just how much money could he make? 
Boss long since said that all people who cultivate the starry river of the sky art are above board and righteous. Boss long San is also a cultivator of the starry river of the sky art, and his comprehension of it has reached an unimaginable level. Otherwise, he wouldn't be able to answer so many of our questions. He's a truly honorable man. In any case, I refuse to believe the Soaring Dragon Company. After all, they aren't the Huayan Trading Company. Their characters aren't worthy of trust. Everyone, don't forget Boss Long San's instructions. We are all cultivators of the starry river of the sky art. We can be considered as belonging to the same sect. Boss Long San helped us resolve all of our questions, so we have to work hard at cultivating to comprehend the true essence of the starry river of the sky art as soon as possible. We will spread the branches of the starry river line and gather new disciples, or we wouldn't live up to the efforts of the starry river sage, said one elder passionately. That's right, this senior apprentice brother is right. Our starry river line can be considered as being from the same sect. The starry river line is one family. You're right, in the future, we won't be alone. Brothers, I'm going into seclusion first. Let us meet again. If the starry river line is in trouble, I, Jang He, swear to offer my life. Let us live and die together. Live and die together. Live and die together. Live and die together. Hundreds of thousands of cultivators of the starry river of the sky art cheered together. They had originally been like random pieces of sand, but they were merged together by Long Chen, becoming a solid block of steel. They had previously been pitiful people with no future prospects, and Long Chen had given them their futures. Now they could see light, they could see hope. Many of them were people with similar characters and similar goals. They were no longer alone. At that moment, they found a new sense of belonging. They felt that the future was bright. Even Long Chen didn't know that his transmission of the Tao would silently change the nine heavens and ten lands. The starry river of the sky art spread far and wide like a virus, reaching every corner of the world. He had planted countless seeds throughout the world, and they were silently germinating. I've really profited this time. The starry river of the sky art was a cultivation technique that the starry river sage created based on enlightenment from the nine star hegemon body art. There is an immense difference between the two, but it can still bring me endless enlightenment. Long Chen sat on a cliff all alone, looking at the river flowing in the distance. He had an excited expression. He remembered the first time he encountered the starry river of the sky art. There was a record that the starry river sage left behind no disciples. He supposedly only left this cultivation technique and no other legacy. As expected, legends and rumors couldn't be counted on. Now, Long Chen had obtained the key principle of the starry river of the sky art. The areas that he hadn't managed to figure out before were now clear to him. With the starry river of the sky art, first, the star diagram was condensed, and then with one star as a starting point, you would try forming a connection with the corresponding stars above the nine heavens, forming a resonance with their astral power. Last time, Long Chen hadn't understood and had tried to activate that astral power, almost killing himself. He then was warned and hadn't dared to try it again. Now, he could continue trying. Last time, it was because he had tried with the full power of his star diagram. I'm going to test it. As Long Chen slowly formed hand seals, one of his 108,000 stars quivered slightly. This was the star that had quivered when he had stepped onto the first stone step. When this star quivered, amongst the endless stars above the nine heavens, a certain star formed a resonance with it and brightened. I found it. Following that, the two stars continued to resonate, and a mysterious energy formed a bridge. Chapter 3506 That one star was the star in Long Chen's body, and the other was a true star in the far-off starry sky. 
the starry river of the sky art allowed a person to condense a star diagram however within this star diagram not every star was a true living entity according to the starry river of the sky arts principles all those who cultivated the starry river of the sky art could awaken at least nine stars once the nine stars were awakened using those nine stars you had to find the corresponding stars above the nine heavens forming a connection with them then the stars would not just be above the nine heavens but also within your body you would borrow the power of the stars above the heavens for your own use however within the long river of history the starry river of the sky art's most crucial aspect was lost people could only condense the stars but had lost the method for finding the corresponding stars of the heavens and drawing them to themselves although those who condensed their own stars could look down on others within the same realm at the start by the time that they reached the late immortal king realm being unable to draw out astral energy from above the heavens meant that their cultivation had reached an end they would never be able to advance again having obtained the key principle of the starry river of the sky art long chen finally understood its essence furthermore now he also understood a portion of the nine star hegemon body arts principles based on the starry river sage's principle the starry river of the sky arts limit was awakening nine hundred and ninety nine stars furthermore the starry river was to give them enough room to move around if someone tried to awaken a thousand stars when those one thousand stars circulated the astral power would exceed the limits and that person's body would explode the starry river sage had precisely lost his life due to pushing the starry river of the sky art to its limit however he was truly a genius he had managed to feel its limit and pass down a world-shaking cultivation technique it could be said that the starry river of the sky art was a simplification of the nine star hegemon body art despite being simplified it still possessed such divine power that it could shake heaven and earth when long chen's star formed a bridge with the star above the nine heavens long chen clearly sensed an unending stream of energy entering his body this was an extremely powerful energy however he didn't dare to draw in too much to test his potential that was because he was in the process of condensing the violet tower star violet kai had appeared throughout his star sea and it was nourishing those stars causing them to undergo a transformation he didn't dare to disturb them there was no rush first he tried to sense the other stars he found the second and then tried to sense the third however searching for those stars had to be done with a calm heart the heart had to be like water it was the easiest to find the first star but the second was a bit more difficult a quick look at navaloon calm will leave you more fulfilled long chen didn't dare to meditate here however he still made huge gains at the very least he knew how to draw in astral energy and was no longer feeling around blindly the limit of the starry river of the sky art was nine hundred and ninety nine stars but he had one hundred seven thousand nine hundred ninety nine stars to use he had no idea what kind of power that would unleash however he knew that the greater the power the greater the burden on the body if he wanted to control that kind of power he had to grow strong enough first the starry river of the sky art allowed long chen to see the tip of the iceberg of the nine star hegemon body art he was growing increasingly confident furthermore with the starry river of the sky art as a cover his status as a nine star heir would be covered up even better suddenly a flame war chariot flew above long chen's head leaving behind a long fire trail that was like a dragon long chen was startled that's a world domain war chariot there were four flying boats flying alongside the war chariot as guards and they were covered in rooms as they exuded powerful pressure it was a shocking lineup it had to be known that world domain divine items were created from extracting the core of a world domain 
This kind of material was exceptionally precious, resulting in the divine items being very rare. Even amongst world kings, Long Chen hadn't seen anyone using them. Long Chen was a mortal enemy of the Soaring Dragon Company. However, even those Third Heaven Stage world kings sent to capture him weren't using world domain divine items. To use such precious materials to create a war chariot was truly luxurious. If it was used to create world domain divine weapons, there would probably be enough material to make over ten of them. Just what kind of figure was qualified to sit in such a war chariot? Suddenly, a fiery golden crow flew through the air, unleashing such terrifying heat energy that the void twisted. It then vanished in the blink of an eye. What powerful flame energy! That's probably an amazing divine beast. Long Chen was startled. This golden crow possessed pure flame energy that gave him a sense of immense pressure. Most shocking of all, this golden crow was just like him, only in the divine lord realm. But the pressure that it gave him exceeded that of third heaven stage world kings. Amazing. The chaotic star sea is truly filled with hidden dragons and crouching tigers. Long Chen's heart shook. They all said that the chaotic star sea was filled with countless terrifying monsters, but those monsters rarely showed themselves. Once they did appear, though, they could flip the entire chaotic star sea, the direction that they are going. Long Chen hastily took out a map and checked where they were going. This path leads to the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. That's a chaos domain where flame energy converges. Could it be? Something has occurred there. Long Chen was moved. Just then, he saw another streak of light in the distance, seemingly shooting toward the Dragon Blaze Prefecture as well. That light was moving shockingly fast. I must take a look. Long Chen smelled an extraordinary scent and immediately set off. However, he chose not to fly in a straight line, because if he went in a straight path, he would run into several chaotic regions. Without a powerful flying boat or war chariot, it would be all too easy to get sucked into one of those chaotic currents. Knowing how bad his luck was, Long Chen chose to avoid that. If he fell into one of those currents, he wouldn't even have a place to cry. So, Long Chen chose to use transportation formations. Through multiple transportation, after almost half a day, he finally arrived at the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. As soon as he arrived and walked out, dense flame energy washed over him. He immediately saw two experts fighting just due to an argument. The guards of the city then came forward to advise them, but the two of them refused to listen, even beating the guards. As a result, the two of them were detained by those guards after being beaten black and blue. The people nearby seemed to have gotten used to such a thing. The flame energy here was pulsing strongly, and the people were mostly flame cultivators. Their tempers were naturally explosive. With just one wrong word, they might start fighting. Long Chen had just arrived when quite a few people stared at him. One fellow probably found Long Chen displeasing, feeling like his gaze was provoking, so he directly rushed at Long Chen, only to be slapped to the ground by Long Chen. Boom. Suddenly, a powerful explosion came from the distance. Everyone rushed over to take a look, only to see a giant covered in flames patting some dust off of his body. He came out of a hole in the ground. Long Chen eyed him and was startled. Lava Giant Race Chapter 3507 That Lava Giant Race's expert descended like a meteor upon the city. He smashed into the ground outside the city, patted some dust off of his body, and then walked through the city gates just like that. Although he had shrunk his body, he was still six meters tall. With the raging flames coming off of his body, his aura was astonishing. The guards of the city usually took a fee from people entering the city gates, but when that lava giant appeared, those guards quivered and didn't dare to approach him. He was just like a moving volcano. Once he erupted, 
he could melt heaven and earth. The other cultivators also avoided him. This is also a terrifying figure. Long Chen's heart shook. This person's power was as vast as a sea. He was another unfathomable existence. The lava giant race was considered one of heaven and earth's spirit races. They possessed unending longevity. However, it was said that they were naturally violent and not easy to get along with. Thus, other life forms preferred to avoid them as much as possible. The Dragon Blaze Prefecture's capital city had three gates to go through before it counted as the inner city. The inside of the city was exceptionally lively recently. Just walking through the streets, Long Chen was bumping shoulders with countless experts. Also, he had never seen so many flame attribute cultivators in his life before. However, countless experts glanced at Long Chen oddly when they walked past him. That was because there were no flame energy fluctuations coming from him. It had to be known that the Dragon Blaze Prefecture was a place where flame energy gathered. Other than flame cultivators, others found it very difficult to exist in such an environment. Thus, Long Chan was particularly conspicuous. The street was wide, and it was a single straight line with countless buildings on both sides. They were ancient and yet prospering. Everything was neat and tidy. Find the original at Navaloon Com. No one dared to cause any trouble in the Dragon Blaze Prefecture because there was a supremely terrifying city lord here. Furthermore, this city lord's temper was a good. It didn't matter what race you were from or what background you had. As long as you broke the rules here, you would be sternly punished. It was forbidden to fight within the inner city. If you had to fight, then there were hundreds of martial stages in the outer city. You could always challenge people to life and death duels there. The martial stages here were another large feature of the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. It was because the Dragon Blaze Prefecture's experts liked to bet on the results. Even the city lord himself would bet sometimes when there was a fight between real experts. However, due to his status, he was only gambling for fun and didn't put down much as a wager. That would harm his dignity as the city lord. Thus, the martial stages in the outer city were quite popular. There were always a few life and death challenges going on. Sometimes, it would even take days before it was your turn to fight. However, there were some restrictions. If too much time passed, the observers would be irritated. Thus, if they took too long, then the battle would end and the fighters could simply leave. Compared to the rest of the chaotic Star Seas prefectures, the Dragon Blaze prefecture was more orderly. The city at least was prospering. People were coming and going on the street. There were countless experts, but there was no need to worry about safety. In fact, most people had relaxed smiles. Although Long Chen didn't have flame fluctuations, causing quite a few people to look at him oddly and perhaps even disdainfully, no one provoked him. Suddenly, a disturbance appeared up ahead, startling Long Chen. What? Did people feel like this place was too orderly, so they just had to cause a fight? However, he quickly found that he was wrong. It wasn't a fight. It seemed that some amazing figure had appeared, drawing countless others over to take a look. Heavens! The Daliwo Star Fields Fairy King Shuen has actually descended upon our chaotic star sea. A shocked cry rang out. Fairy King Shuen? Long Chen's heart skipped a beat. The Daliwo Star Fields Fairy King Shuen? The one said to be the number one flame element heavenly genius to appear in the violet flame heaven in the past thirty million years? Who would have thought that she'd appear here? It's rumored that she crossed heavens not long ago, obtaining the rank nine heavenly flame, the heavenly rainbow flame in the dark light heaven. She is this era's master of the heavenly rainbow flame. Some people estimate that despite only being a divine lord, she has power that can match the fourth heaven stage world kings. I wonder if it's true or false. Who cares if it's true or false? 
I heard that fairy Kingshuan has a heavenly flame body, that when she was born, a jewel blood jade orchid burned in the heavens for three days and nights. Hey, who is pushing me? That man was enraged, barely glimpsing a black robed man pushing past him. He tried to grab the black robed man, but the latter had already slipped through. Long Chen's heart was pounding hard. She was King Shuan. The jewel blood jade orchid was proof of their love. He was finally seeing her again. Long Chen was shoving forward regardless. He was extremely powerful, and others were unable to stop him. And those people cursed at Long Chen furiously when he pushed through them, but they didn't dare to attack him. Long Chen ignored them. He pushed through and quickly saw a group of people around a woman, like stars around the moon. King Shuen. When Long Chen saw the same white robed Yu King Shuen that was like a lotus flower just breaking out of the surface of the water, untouched by a single speck of dust, his eyes reddened, and tears almost came out. Now the loon, come this was the woman that he owed a thousand reincarnations to, the one who moved the most tender part of his heart. Long Chen's heartbeats quickened. Looking at her familiar face, he thought of the martial heaven continent. He thought of how she had died in his arms, and he didn't know how he could repay her. Now she no longer recognized him, and he didn't know how he could awaken her memories. He simply stared at her, his mind blank. There were over ten men around Yu Qingxuan, passionately talking to her. Every single one of them possessed very powerful auras. Furthermore, their clothes were luxurious, and they wore golden crowns and jade belts. Every single one of them gave off the aura of world domain divine items. Even the golden thread on their sleeves was made out of the highest grade king item materials. A design made of this golden thread might surpass the savings of most families. These men looked at Yu Qingxuan adoringly. It seemed that to express their emotions, they were introducing her to everything here. Yu Qingxuan politely listened to all of their introductions, occasionally nodding. This single nod was the greatest encouragement to these people, and they grew even more passionate. There was a group of guards behind Yu Qingxuan, and two of them actually had halos of light behind their heads. Their auras were even more terrifying than Third Heaven Stage World Kings. These two guards were two almighty fourth heaven stage world kings. Fairy King Shuen, this is my Dragon Blaze Prefecture's best restaurant, the Fallen Immortal Pavilion. In my opinion, this name perfectly matches how Fairy King Shuen has descended upon us, said one of the handsome men, pointing at the restaurant. Young Master Feng Zhang is wrongly praising me. King Shuen does not dare to accept. It's just that... Young Master Feng Zhang, gathering so many people doesn't seem to be very appropriate. Yu Qingxuan looked at the countless people surrounding her and felt a bit uncomfortable. How could it be inappropriate? Very Qingxuan, we are honored by your presence. As the city lord's son, I naturally must receive you properly. Otherwise, people will laugh at my Feng family for being miserly. Fairy King Shuen, everyone, please come this way. I've reserved the restaurant. Let us taste the delicacies, enjoy the sight, and discuss the flame Dao. I'm sure that it will be exciting. Feng Zhang gestured. Yu King Shuen didn't seem to enjoy this kind of treatment, but having already reached this point, and with how ardent this guy was being, she didn't feel good rejecting him. She simply thanked him, and was about to go into the restaurant when her gaze swept across the crowd once. A delighted smile then appeared on her face. Little brother, you've also come. Chapter 3508 When Yu Qingxuan's gaze swept over the crowd, she immediately saw a black-robed man standing out like a crane amongst chickens, like a phoenix amongst crows. She was delighted, and that kind of delight came from her inner heart. When she saw Long Chen, a sweet smile appeared on her face, and it was not the same smile she gave off for social niceties. Hence, everyone was startled. Following Yu Qingxuan's gaze, they saw a handsome, black-robed man whose eyes were like stars. 
The light in his eyes contained strong emotions, and he was staring at Yu Qingshuan unblinkingly. Seeing that she recognized him, Long Chen smiled and nodded. I really didn't expect to see you here. This was true. Who would have thought that he would see Yu Qingshuan in such a place? He was extremely moved. I've always felt very guilty about what happened last time. Thank you for giving me the heavenly rainbow flame. I will always remember that favor. Yu Qingshuan came up to Long Chen, speaking sincerely. Hearing this, everyone was shocked. From what she said, the heavenly rainbow flame was actually given to her by this black-robed man. However, when they looked at Long Chen, they found him to be very ordinary. He might have a somewhat arrogantly large saber on his back, but he didn't give off any sense of pressure. His aura was comparatively mild. Other than being a bit handsome, he seemed like an ordinary person. Such a person was connected to the rank nine heavenly flame, the heavenly rainbow flame. Furthermore, he had given it to fairy King Shuen. Knowing this, people felt a bit dazed. You're too courteous. The heavenly rainbow flame is part of your life from the start. It has no fate with me. Moreover, the aura of your soul is fluctuating, along with the divine light in your eyes. You have started to try merging with the heavenly rainbow flame, correct? Congratulations. Long Chen smiled. Back then, the heavenly rainbow fairy had told him that he was not to be the master of the heavenly rainbow flame. At that time, he had refused to accept it, and had even said that he would kill anyone who dared to fight him over it. However, when Yu Qingxuan appeared, he actually offered it to her with both hands. Although it was a bit of a slap in his own face, he was happier than ever. You're very amazing. You even managed to see this. It seems that you are a flame expert as well. However, that just makes me feel even more guilty. Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen with a bit of embarrassment. Long Chen could see through her current state, which meant that he was a true expert of the flame Tao. The heavenly rainbow flame was even more important to such a person and would be treated as important as their own life. For Long Chen to have given her the heavenly rainbow flame, it was like he had given her his life. I told you that let alone the heavenly rainbow flame, even if you wanted my life, I would give it to you without hesitation, said Long Chen solemnly. Yu King Shuen blushed. These words were a bit too unsubtle. However, she then thought back to when she had first encountered him. At that time, he said that he loved her, saying that he would transform himself into a stone bridge that endured millennia of winds, sun, and rain just to wait for her to cross Navaloon. Come, although Yu King Shuen's status was special and her beauty was as transcendent as ever, resulting in her having countless people pursuing her, she had never heard such moving words of love. With Long Chen saying this, the other men around Yu King Shuen all had ugly expressions. Just how majestic was Yu King Shuen's status? They were all working hard to show themselves off, hoping to win the favorable opinion of this beauty. Instead, it was this ordinary little fellow with ordinary clothes and an ordinary aura that was so nakedly expressing himself to fairy King Shuen. He did not leave them with any face. They were all people with large backgrounds. Hence, an ordinary person like Long Chen normally wasn't given a second glance, but fairy King Shuen was connected to such a figure and was even talking and smiling with him. Her gaze in particular was different compared to when she looked at them. Hence, they all felt a bit uncomfortable inside. For Long Chen to say such words, he essentially expressed his feelings toward her, irritating them. Fairy King Shuen, the delicacies and wine have been prepared. We should sit and chat, interjected Feng Xiang. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Then can I invite my friend to join us? Asked you, King Shuen, that that's not very suitable. His status. Feng Xiang hesitated. He clearly didn't want Long Chen to go up with them. 
I'm just an ordinary cultivator with no ability or status. It really isn't suitable for me to be with all you heavenly geniuses. King Shuen, I have received your kind regards. Don't let me make you feel unhappy. How could Long Chen not see through these people's intentions? He smiled at you, King Shuen. After that, those people's expressions improved slightly. However, they didn't know that Long Chen naturally wouldn't let go of such an opportunity. Although the current Yu King Shuen was no longer the old Yu King Shuen, Long Chen believed that the two had essentially the same fundamental character. As he expected, Yu King Shuen frowned. Why must people separate themselves according to status? Can people of different statuses not be friends? If that's the case, then I'm not going. I've received everyone's warm greetings today. I would rather Long Chen smiled slightly. Yu Kingshuan was still just as kind as ever. She felt that she owed him a huge debt. Hence, the more Long Chen talked like this, the more apologetic she felt. Furthermore, from her words, he could tell that these people had no relationship with her. He relaxed quite a bit. Fairy Kingshuan misunderstood Brother Feng Xiang. He simply meant that everyone's status and cultivation bases are different. We all have different cultivation paths. Brother Feng Xiang prepared delicacies that are mostly top-grade flame element foods, and the wine is also very strong. He was simply afraid that this junior brother wouldn't be able to endure it. If something happened, it would ruin the mood. Furthermore, everyone's level is different, and everyone's Tao discussion is different. Brother Feng Zhang is worried that this junior brother will be embarrassed. He has no evil intention, said another man with a golden crown and luxurious clothes. Right, right. Brother Mingxuan is right. That's what I was thinking. If this junior brother wishes to come, I, Feng Zhang, will be overjoyed. Junior brother, what do you say? Feng Xiang was originally looking down on Long Chen, but now he quickly acted pragmatic. Although he might look down on Long Chen, Yu Qingxuan was unhappy due to that, and that would ruin everything for all of them. Mingxuan had given him a good way out, so he directly tossed the ball to Long Chen. His meaning was that Long Chen had better be smart, or even if he did come, he would have no good fruit to eat. He would only embarrass himself. We are not alone. Come find us on Google. How could Long Chen not be clear on what they were thinking? Long Chen's eyes brightened, and he excitedly said, So everyone is a heavenly genius of the Flame Tao. Then I've been rude. I know a little bit about the Flame Tao, and I really want to hear everyone's marvelous thoughts on the Flame Tao. Aha, it seems that fairy King Shun really is my lucky star. The gazes of those men changed when Long Chen said this, but they did their best to cover it up. Feng Zhang could only say, since that's the case, junior brother, please come with us. He had already invited Long Chen. If he now said that Long Chen couldn't come, Yu King Shun might immediately turn hostile. He didn't want such a small matter to result in absolute failure. However, these people had definitely formed a grudge against Long Chen. It seemed that, in a bit, they would be making things hard for Long Chen. Chapter 3509 Long Chen pretended not to see these people's gazes. Instead, he looked at Yu Kingshuan. She was a pure person and hadn't seen through these subtle changes in expression. However, she was very happy to have Long Chen come with her. Including Long Chen, there were sixteen people, and they all went up to the restaurant. As for the others, they scattered. Amongst these sixteen people were two elders. They were Yu Qingxuan's guards, and they were solemn and serious. They hadn't said a word the entire time, nor did they seem like they were going to. Their eyes were closed. Long Chen could sense that from the start, the two of them had been keeping their spiritual strength dispersed throughout the air. They were clearly guaranteeing Yu Qingxuan's safety, making sure to sense 
even the slightest hostility that approached her, Long Chen didn't know just what kind of status Yu Kangshuan had for her to have two fourth heaven stage world kings protecting her. Furthermore, based on their cautious appearance, they did seem worried about something happening to Yu Kangshuan. Once they climbed up the steps to the restaurant, they didn't just get to see the entire Dragon Blaze Prefecture. From here, the Dragon Blaze Prefecture looked just like a giant dragon entrenched onto a tall mountain. They could see even further areas. In the distance, they could see streams of lava and volcanoes erupting. They could even see what appeared to be a rain of stars falling from above the nine heavens. What beautiful scenery! Long Chen stepped up, looked around, and couldn't help praising the view. This scenery is something many people will never get to see in their lifetimes, said one man calmly, his tone one of slight disdain. That's true. If it weren't for Fairy King Shuen, I would never get to see such scenery in this lifetime. I've made Sir laugh. He he, what a wretched laugh, said Long Chen. That person clearly didn't hear Long Chen's hidden meaning. Seeing Long Chen react this way, he looked down on him even more, but he didn't press things. If he intentionally targeted Long Chen, he might draw Yu Qingxuan's ire. When they arrived at their table, Long Chen snatched the spot beside Yu Qingxuan and then pretended to look around foolishly. Why, did I sit in some one spot? The atmosphere grew tense. Every single person wanted to sit beside Yu Qingxuan, but on the surface. They were prepared to modestly decline. Yet, this brazen fellow had actually taken it first. He'd, someone with no background or status, actually had the face to ask them such a question. Could it be that he really didn't know how wrong he was? Upon seeing his blank expression, these people's expressions grew unsightly. It's fine. Let's all just sit wherever. It's our first meeting. So let's relax, said Yu Qingxuan hastily, having sensed that the atmosphere was a bit off. Since she had said this, everyone could only sit. However, the atmosphere was tense because Long Chen took the important seat. These people already felt contempt for him, but Long Chen dared to be so shameless as to sit right beside Yu Qingxuan. It was definitely a toad squatting beside a swan. Hence, their hearts were burning with rage. Everyone, don't be so serious. Let's all introduce ourselves. I'll start. I am Yu Qingxuan, and I come from the Daluo Star Field, said Yu Qingxuan. She was starting to sense that these people were targeting Long Chen, and she was getting worried. However, she wasn't worried about herself, but that these people would make things hard on Long Chen. She had invited Long Chen here out of kindness, so she was afraid that Long Chen would end up in a worse position because of her. Theft is never good. Try looking at Noveloon. Come, I am Feng Zhang, and I am from the Chaotic Star Sea. From my ancestors, I inherited the Dragon Blaze bloodline. My father is the City Lord, a Seventh Heaven Stage World King. So, once I reach the World King realm, I will probably have to endure the hard work that he went through, said Fang Zhang lightly. Although he said that he would suffer, he was clearly proud. His meaning was that, in the future, he would be the lord of the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. His father was actually a Seventh Heaven Stage World King. That was truly a very terrifying existence. Long Chen was unable to imagine just how powerful a seventh heaven stage world king would be. I am Zhao Mingxuan. I come from the ancient North Star Field's Raging Flame Heavenly Palace. My master is the Raging Flame Heavenly Palace's master and also a seventh heaven stage world king. I'll also have to deal with some bitter suffering like Brother Feng Zhang. Most likely, the position of palace master will fall on my shoulders, said the man that had helped Feng Zhang out of his embarrassing predicament before. I am Wu Yang. I am from the Golden Crow Star Field's three-foot Golden Crow race, and I've just awakened my immemorial bloodline. Also, 
I have always wanted to exchange blows with experts in the same realm, but never found a good opponent. Although you don't have much flame energy, the power of your blood Kai is strong. Are you interested in exchanging pointers? A pair of sharp eyes stared at Long Chen coldly, along with golden light. Although the others were just introducing themselves and had their hostile gazes occasionally flicking toward Long Chen, this Wu Yang actually challenged Long Chen directly. This made Yu King Xuan's expression change. But Long Chen simply smiled. I'm not an expert. Sir seems to have picked the wrong opponent. Seeing Long Chen admit his inferiority, Wu Yang smiled disdainfully. That disdain simply overflowed from every part of him. Long Chen was also sneering inside. He didn't have time to play these games with them. The more they bullied him, the happier he was. Long Chen was very familiar with Yu Qingxuan's character. For a kind person like her, the weaker he seemed, the more she would look after him. Hence, these fellows were inadvertently helping him. Furthermore, these fellows were all raising their noses high into the air, showing off and looking down on him. Idiots like them wished to pursue Yu King Shuin. They had to be dreaming. They couldn't even see how distasteful Yu King Shuin found this. Were their heads full of crap? Following that, others continued to report their names and backgrounds. It had to be said that their backgrounds were truly very terrifying. Every single one of them had a major background. We've introduced ourselves. Brother, it's your turn. Let us hear your glorious background. The last person finished introducing himself and then directly made things hard for Long Chen. Yu Qingxuan felt a trace of regret now. She regretted coming here, or perhaps it should be said that she regretted inviting Long Chen. She could clearly feel them targeting him. With her kind nature, she hadn't realized it at the start. But now she knew that they were targeting him. However, despite being enraged inside, she didn't know how to resolve it. Long Chen had helped her out immensely before. If she were to protect him, perhaps he would feel even more inferior inside. She was unable to think of any solutions. My glorious background? No, I'm nothing more than a nameless little person who can't compare to the likes of you all. To tell the truth, I really admire all of you. You can report such a long line of titles like what sect, what race, your father, your mother, your master, their cultivation bases, said Long Chen. Upon hearing that, everyone's expression grew unsightly. Long Chen was clearly mocking them for using their backgrounds to make themselves appear glorious. They hadn't relied on their own efforts. My surname is Long and my name is Chen. I am an ascender from the lower world, said Long Chen lightly. Do you have no father or mother? Why don't you report their names? Sneered Zhao Mingxuan. If you want to die, I'll help you out right now. At that moment, Long Chen's face grew frosty, and some killing intent that made all their expressions change erupted. Even those two fourth heaven stage world kings opened their eyes, staring in shock at Long Chen. Chapter 3510 They hadn't expected Long Chen to instantly turn hostile. It was like a gentle rabbit instantly became a berserk dragon. His killing intent locked Zhao Mingxuan down. Everyone jumped. They hadn't expected this fellow that they detested and disdained to suddenly unleash such terrifying killing intent. If you insult me, I can treat it as ignorant farts. But if you insult my parents, then you are courting death. A dragon has a reverse scale, and if you touch it, you will definitely enrage it. I can't be bothered to care about any of you, but that doesn't mean that I'm afraid of you. If you want to die, let us meet on the life and death stage. Long Chen looked at Zhao Mingxuan darkly. It didn't matter how these fellows insulted him. He could treat it all as a joke. But this arrogant fellow had actually talked about his parents. Hence, Long Chen instantly lost control. If it weren't for Yu Qingxuan sitting right beside him, 
he might have directly slashed his sabre and killed this fellow. This group of brainless young masters was truly hateful. Being locked down by Long Chen's killing intent enraged Zhao Mingxuan. This was an unacceptable provocation to him. He was just about to speak when Yu Qingxuan spoke first. Young Master Mingxuan, aren't you all going too far? If I said that you had no father or mother, which is why you are so mannerless, would you be happy? Yu Qingxuan had been nursing her anger this entire time. Now that Long Chen had exploded, she was immediately on his side. These people had truly gone too far. Long Chen had shown such restraint, but they repeatedly pressed down on him. This wasn't just targeting him now. Long Chen had been invited by her. So for them to target Long Chen like this, it was no different than targeting her as well. The reason Long Chen felt these people to be foolish was because they were unaware that their own actions were driving Yu Qingxuan away from them. All of them were like fighting cocks, making people feel disgusted. It was only when they saw Yu Qingxuan's rage that Zhao Mingxuan apologetically said, I was just joking with brother Long Chen. I didn't expect brother Long Chen to be so petty. Well, just treat it as my mistake. I apologize. Zhao Mingxuan raised his wine cup and gestured to Long Chen. Although he apologized, there wasn't the slightest sincerity. Hence, Long Chen didn't move nor raise his wine cup. He just looked at Zhao Mingxuan. You can apologize for yourself, but I cannot accept it. Every person must bear responsibility for their words and actions. To tell the truth, I really dislike people who think themselves omnipotent but lack any ability at all. All they do is talk about their family, their mother, their father, their sect, and their master to show off. In my eyes, those people are all contemptuous, using the glory of their predecessors to cover up how inferior they feel inside. Wherever they go, it's like they are afraid that people won't know their status. They immediately have to show off their halos of light. But are those halos yours? Without them, what are you? I came from the lower world to the higher world, and I've killed so many people like you on the way. When death comes for you, there won't be many of you who don't piss in your pants. You're going too far, shouted one of them. Too far. But can only princes vent their anger, but the commoners can't even light a lamp. You humiliating others is simply natural, but for me to say the truth is too far. Let me make a comparison. Just how transcendental is Fairy King Shuin's status? Just how did she report her name and status, though? If she showed off like the rest of you, would you even be qualified to sit together with her? Sneered Long Chen. When Long Chen turned the topic to Yu King Shuin, they hastily shut their mouths. They naturally wouldn't be so foolish as to attack Fairy King Shuin. Fairy King Shuin is sweet and gentle. She doesn't want to use her status to suppress others. Hence, she treats every single person sincerely. But as for the rest of you, your family, your father and mother, even your master's statuses are all spat out to make yourselves look good. Why don't you bring me to your ancestor's grave so that you can dig them out and introduce me to every single one of them? said Long Chen disdainfully. Yu Qingxuan almost laughed, but she knew that this wasn't the place to laugh, so she endured. Although his words were a bit too far, that was out of emotion, and they were correct. Furthermore, it was the other side that had attacked him first, while he was simply counterattacking. Yu Qingxuan didn't feel like he was doing anything wrong. We are not alone, come find us on Google. As for Yu Qingxuan's two guards, they had faint smiles on their faces. They felt that this little fellow's way of talking was very interesting. Brother Long Chen said Fang Zhang, Don't call me brother. Just call me Long Chen. I don't like being called brother from the front while being stabbed in the back by the same person, said Long Chen indifferently. Fang Zhang coldly said, Everyone is introducing themselves so that we can get along better. 
No one thought that you would be so sensitive. Everyone here has their own status and position. Is there a problem with getting to know each other and giving a more detailed explanation so that we can mutually benefit? We are only so polite to you to give fairy king shu and face. I hope you know your own position. Navaloon, Kamsi Gujarati Shunya M. He wanted to play this game with Long Chen. He was too immature. If they wanted to target him, then they could target him. They didn't need to come up with so many excuses. Long Chen smiled lightly. Everyone is smart. Does the veil really need to be torn off of certain people's faces? If so, I don't mind doing it. These people were intentionally targeting him, and Yu Kingshuan had witnessed it clearly. No matter how they quibbled, they wouldn't be able to change reality. Long Chen's goal was only to draw Yu Kingshuan's attention. What the rest of them thought of him, he didn't care. Can we change topics? Young Master Feng Zhang, didn't you say that the food was prepared? With the atmosphere being so awkward, Yu Qingxuan finally spoke up. Feng Xiang clapped his forehead. My apologies, I've neglected you. Feng Xiang snapped his fingers, and beautiful attendants immediately came out, carrying plates full of delicacies. With the smell of various delicacies filling the air, the atmosphere once more warmed up. The smell immediately increased everyone's appetite. These delicacies all contained dense flame essence. As soon as they entered the mouth, dense flame energy would spread throughout the body. It was both delicious and of great nourishment. It was an absolute luxury to flame cultivators. With the good food on the table, the previous displeasure seemed to be forgotten. They all began to toast each other, and in order to not leave Long Chen out, Yu Qingxuan offered her first toast to him. When Long Chen drank the wine in his cup, he was startled. The wine got palaces wine? This time, it was Feng Zhang's turn to be shocked. This was the wine that his father had concealed for countless years. It was made by an expert of the wine god palace. His father had only been given three jugs. After that, he had drunk one, leaving two more jugs. In order to entertain Yu Qingxuan, his father then endured the pain of losing one of the last two jugs. Feng Xiang had been hoping for Yu Qingxuan to taste it and be delighted by it before he said the origin of this wine. He hadn't expected Long Chen to say it first. Yu Qingxuan drank her cup as well. She found that the wine energy was gentle and long-lasting. It was like she was drinking a river, and it also left a strong aftertaste. Seeing that Long Chen was able to tell the origin of this wine, she was shocked. She looked at Feng Zhang. Is this really the wine god palace's fine wine? Feng Zhang was irritated at having the limelight stolen by Long Chen, but he also couldn't express it and could only nod. Yu Qingxuan's beautiful gaze then turned toward Long Chen. Chapter 3511 You've drunk the wine god palaces wine before. Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen in amazement. Then she realized that the question she asked was inappropriate, and she hastily said, Sorry, I don't have any other intention. It's just that this is my first time drinking the wine god palaces wine. Yu Qingxuan was afraid that Long Chen would think that she was looking down on him and didn't believe his words, so she hastily apologized. Long Chen smiled. It's fine. In the mortal world, I was fortunate enough to try the wine god palace's wine. Thus, I could guess that this should be their wine. It seems that I managed to guess right. The wine god palace's wine isn't sold. For you to be able to drink it, you couldn't be an ordinary person, praised Yu Qingxuan. You overpraise me. Back then, a few seniors of the Wine God Palace favored me and gave me the chance to judge some of the Wine God Palace's wares. It was all thanks to those seniors thinking highly of me. In truth, I don't have any ability, said Long Chen modestly. Yu Qingxuan smiled. 
The feeling that Long Chen gave her was always different from everyone else. Others were doing their best to show off in front of her, but he was always trying to make himself seem ordinary. However, could an ordinary person obtain the heavenly rainbow flame? Could an ordinary person be invited to taste the wine god palace's wines? It had to be known that even throughout all the nine heavens and ten lands, the wine god palace was a famous existence. Although they did not interact much with the rest of the world, focusing instead only on making wine, they were famous for being icily arrogant. Their wine was only bestowed to those who knew wine. There was no wine from the wine god palace available on the market. If anyone dared to sell it, then the wine god palace would trace the seller to the source and would never bestow wine to that person ever again. Thus, the wine god palace's wine could be given, but it could not have the slightest relationship to money. Otherwise, it would be viewed as a kind of blasphemy toward wine. As a result, even with Yu Qingxuan's illustrious status, she had never had a chance to try the wine god palace's wine. But Long Chen was able to recognize the origin of this wine. How could she not be shocked? This novel is available on Noveloon. Come furthermore, the more he said that he was ordinary, the more she felt that he was extraordinary. He was just like his clothes. No one knew what was hidden within that endless darkness. It made people feel incomparably curious. You judged them? Someone snickered and didn't say anything else. Clearly, they thought that Long Chen was bragging. Being invited to drink the wine god palace's wine was a huge honor. Who dared to judge them? They felt that Long Chen was bragging to the point that he was only embarrassing himself. Long Chen simply smiled and didn't reply to the snickering. He continued drinking and eating. It truly had been a long time since he had eaten such delicacies. Furthermore, these people's burning and stifled expressions made his mood very good, improving his appetite. Everyone continued to eat and drink, while Feng Zhang and the others repeatedly raised toasts to Yu Qingxuan. As a result, Yu Qingxuan made an excuse of not having good tolerance to avoid them. Everyone found that despite immersing himself in eating, Long Chen still drew most of Yu Qingxuan's attention. Her gaze would occasionally look over casually, but everyone found that she seemed to have started paying special attention to him. That made them all very irritated. In order to welcome Yu Qingxuan, they had long since made preparations and spent a huge amount of time and effort just to satisfy her. But she just kept looking at this poor little fellow. Furthermore, this poor little fellow seemed entirely unaware. He was picking out the most delicious food for himself. It was like he hadn't eaten for eight lifetimes. Furthermore, he drank in gulps so unrestrained like he was the owner. When his cup was empty, he didn't stand on courtesy. He directly called out an attendant beside him who filled his cup. Just watching him act this way aggrieved and infuriated Feng Zhang. Most loathsome of all, every time they raised a toast to Yu Qingxuan, she would refuse. But when Long Chen did the same, she wouldn't. Although she only took a light sip, it still made them feel terrible. Every time she drank, she would ask him a few questions, and Long Chen's answers were very humorous. He would manage to elicit some laughter from her every now and then. The others didn't know what kind of feeling they had now, but they felt more like accompanying guests. Finally, these people stealthily cast special gazes at each other. Feng Zhang smiled slightly. Long Chen, you said that in the mortal world you judged the wine god palace's wine. Why don't you judge this jug of wine as well? Let us gain some experience. Yu Qingchuan also looked at Long Chen, and her expression was one of expectation. She was very curious about Long Chen, but due to her reserved nature, she felt too embarrassed to ask him too much. Now there was a chance for her to learn some more about him, so she immediately listened attentively. While looking at Fang Zhang and the others, 
Long Chen slowly wiped a towel across his face. He then turned to Yu Qingxuan. Since Fairy Qingxuan is interested, I will embarrass myself. I looked at the wine jug just before. It says pear flower wine. However, in truth, it is a kind of hundred flower wine. Furthermore, hundred flower wine is not precisely made from a hundred types of flowers. It comes in two numbers. One is ninety-nine, and the other is one hundred and twenty-eight. This pear flower wine is the latter. Other than the raging flame pear flower, there are one hundred and twenty-seven other fire attribute flowers that went into its making. Based on the five elements of food, cold, cool, neutral, warm, and hot, the pear flower is of the cool attribute, lowering the heat and moistening the throat. This bit of coolness gives the other flowers their dry character. Thus, when the wine passes through the teeth, it is burning hot like lava, but as it flows down the throat, it is cool and refreshing. In the stomach, coolness and hotness mix. The heat pours through the four limbs and hundred bones, while the trace of coolness settles around the dachshund to protect it. It then slowly melts, becoming a formless kai that enters the mind sea and nourishes the soul. Wow, how amazing! You actually know so much. Furthermore, it really is exactly as you say when I drink the wine, praised Yu Qingxuan, her eyes exceptionally bright. Long Chen smiled. Regretfully, while the wine is good, you cannot drink much of it. Why is that? asked Yu Qingxuan in surprise. This wine was made by a man. Man is like the heavens, Yang. They naturally need this coolness to avoid the fire growing too hot. A woman is like the earth, yin. When the wine enters the body, the cool kai will mix with the yin kai inside a woman's body, resulting in cold and hot clashing, yin and yang attacking each other. Thus, fairy king Shun, it would be good for you to not drink too much of this pear flower wine. When yin and yang are in harmony, your kai and blood flow smoothly. But if you drink too much, it will harm you, resulting in an imbalance of yin and yang. That's why despite knowing how precious this wine is, you instinctively didn't drink too much of it, explained Long Chen. So that's the case. Yu Qingxuan came to a sudden understanding. She had previously felt that this wine was delicious, and it was a rare opportunity to get to drink it. But for some reason, she didn't want to drink too much. Now that Long Chen said this, she instantly understood. She looked at him with even greater admiration. As for Feng Zhang and the others, at first, they thought that he was bragging and they wanted to embarrass him. However, they hadn't expected Long Chen to explain it so perfectly to Yu Qingxuan that she was further impressed with him. They grew even more vexed now. I wonder if this wine has any flaws in your eyes? Zhao Mingxuan looked at Long Chen. Long Chen looked back and sneered. Did this fellow want to con him? He had been precisely waiting for this. This wine truly does have a flaw that is not minor. When he said this, Yu Qingxuan was shocked, but the others smiled sinisterly. Chapter 3512 How Can This Wine Have a Flaw? This is the wine from the wine god palace. Long Chen, don't mess around, reminded Yu Qingxuan kindly. No matter how pure she was, she could still sense that the atmosphere was a bit off. These people were clearly digging a hole for Long Chen. Even a drop of the wine god palace's wine was something that couldn't be bought with all the gold in the world. Hence, no one dared to say that the wine god palace's wine was bad. If Long Chen said it and was caught, it wouldn't be good. Long Chen smiled. In this world, there is nothing that is perfect, let alone wine. This pear flower wine's greatest flaw is that it was made using rootless water. What is rootless water? asked Yu Qingxuan. Rootless water refers to rainwater, and it is the kind of rainwater that is condensed naturally in pure lands, untouched by any impurity. 
This rootless water is the most often used water to make wine and tea, and is the cleanest water that's directly extracted from the air. Naturally, it is not affected by the five elements and does not affect the taste of the wine or tea. However, it is not suitable for the pear flower wine. If instead it was morning dew that was used, it should be a bit better, said Long Chen. You actually know so much about the wine dao. Truly amazing, said Yu Qingxuan. The wine dao has a million kinds of water inside it, let alone the endless techniques for making the wine. The wine dao is also a grand dao, just as marvelous as the pill dao. They are different methods to get to the same end, said Long Chen. You actually know the pill dao as well, asked Yu Qingxuan with surprise. I know a little bit, said Long Chen modestly. To dare to say you know a bit in front of fairy Qingxuan. I really admire your guts. Do you know that fairy Qingxuan's pill dao is unrivaled? She is the only one in the violet flame heaven's history to refine a peerless grade golden pill in the divine lord realm. Everyone else immediately laughed at Long Chen's response. Yu Qingxuan's strongest point was actually her alchemy skill. Long Chen dared to mention alchemy in front of her? A peerless grade golden pill? Then doesn't that mean that you have reached the realm where your soul has returned to nothingness, and your will holds the world? Long Chen was surprised. He stared at Yu Qingxuan in disbelief. This so-called soul returns to nothing. Will holds the world was a saying amongst alchemists. It referred to when a person's spirit had reached the point of seeing through the essence of the ten thousand Daos. It was a kind of realm that most people could not imagine. Only when one's mental realm reached that level could they refine golden pills. Long Chen himself had not reached that level yet. Furthermore, a peerless gray pill referred to how only one such pill could exist within the nine heavens and ten lands. There would never be a second pill like it. The immortal world's pills were graded according to low grade, middle grade, high grade, top grade, and peerless grade. These pills were further differentiated as spirit pills, treasure pills, and golden pills. Ninety-nine percent of the pills sold on the marketplace were spirit pills, and treasure pills were very rarely seen. As for golden pills, Long Chen had never seen one yet. Even after plundering so many treasuries of the Soaring Dragon Company, he hadn't seen a single golden pill. From this, it could be seen just how rare they were. Long Chen's mental realm still wasn't high enough to refine golden pills. As for peerless grade golden pills, almost no one had ever seen them before because they were unique existences within heaven and earth. It was said that within the restrictions of the heavenly Daos, two peerless grade golden pills could not appear at once. If a person refined a peerless grade golden pill, and another person in another place refined the same peerless grade golden pill, then one of those would definitely be destroyed beneath the heavenly Daos. It was because there was only one that it was called peerless. A peerless great pill had to have reached the level of a golden pill. Furthermore, those who could refine a peerless great golden pill required not just masterful alchemy arts and powerful spiritual strength, but also strong mental energy that could control the heavenly Daos adding on about 99% luck. It might be possible for one to refine a peerless grade golden pill. Thus, Long Chen truly was shocked. He hadn't thought that, in this world, the pill fairy really would still be the pill fairy. Her alchemy was as amazing as ever. You know about the soul returns to nothingness, the will holds the world. That means that you really are an alchemy master. You don't know just a little bit. Yu Qingxuan was also surprised. No, I really am not being modest. I really do only know a bit about alchemy. After all, refining pills is my secondary profession, said Long Chen with a smile. Then what is your main profession? Asked Yu Qingxuan curiously. 
My main profession is looting, said Long Chan a bit bashfully. Lie, Yu Kingshuan laughed, refusing to believe Long Chen. Feng Zhang and the others had originally believed that they had grasped an opportunity to mock Long Chen, but it seemed that Long Chen truly was skilled in alchemy. Now they were dumbfounded. Were they just there to make Long Chen look better? Yu Kingshuan's smile when she looked at Long Chen was particularly infuriating. They didn't know what they felt in their hearts. At this moment, Feng Zhang and the others exchanged a glance. After snapping their fingers, attendants came forth with a small golden plate. When the plate's cover was opened, it revealed a swallow's nest the size of a baby's fist. The swallow nest was blood red. It was dense with thread marks on top. Also, it emitted intense flame fluctuations as if it was actually burning. Fairy Kingshuan, this is a high-level bold and silk blood swallow's nest. It is truly a top-tier item and contains heavenly Tao runes inside of it. You must try it, said Feng Zhang. This swallow nest looked very beautiful, and Yu Kingshuan did like it. With a smile, she thanked Feng Zhang. This kindness required at least a thanks. Yu Kingshuan's smile delighted Feng Zhang. He felt like he had finally won a round, so he couldn't help looking at Long Chen. You can try it as well. This thing is truly precious. A normal person wouldn't even see it in their lifetime. To tell the truth, if it weren't for Fairy Kingshuan, I wouldn't be willing to give such a thing to a stranger. However, when Long Chen looked at the swallow nest, he didn't reveal any expression. As Yu Kingshuan picked it up, seeing Long Chen was moving, she couldn't help asking, What is it? Don't eat it. Otherwise, you'll regret it. Long Chen shook his head. Yu Feng Xiang was enraged. He had always found Long Chen dislikable, and now Long Chen actually advised Yu Kingshuan not to eat his gift. This was clearly targeting him. In their fight against Long Chen, he and the others had always been at a disadvantage. Now that he finally took out a treasure that could move Fairy Kingshuan, Long Chen actually said such a thing, enraging him. Yu Kingshuan was startled. She didn't understand. But ultimately, she slowly put the swallow nest back. She looked at Long Chen, hoping for him to continue speaking. Long Chen, you're going too far, aren't you? Brother Feng Zhang made such an effort to treat you. That's clearly enough to show his magnificent hospitality. But you keep going against him. Light. Even a dog knows to shake its tail, to express its thanks once it eats someone else's food. As for you, Zhao Mingxuan directly stood up and pointed at Long Chen. If you want to shake your tails, then go ahead. I'm not a dog. What does that have to do with me? said Long Chen disdainfully. You. With that, Long Chen had essentially offended all of them. Their killing intent exploded. Search Navaloon come for the original. Long Chen, what is going on? Why do you think I shouldn't eat this swallow nest? Will it be harmful? asked Yu Kingshuan hastily to distract everyone. Yes, it will definitely harm you. Long Chen nodded, causing Feng Zhang's expression to sink. That appearance was like he wanted to tear Long Chen apart. As for those two world kings, they looked at him with astonishment. Chapter 3513 Long Chen, you actually say that the swallow nest I prepared for fairy Kingshuan will harm her. If you don't give me a satisfactory explanation, then I, Feng Xiang, swear that you won't leave the Dragon Blaze Prefecture alive, declared Feng Xiang angrily. He didn't even bother concealing his killing intent. He was pushed to his limit. The gold and silk blood swallow's nest was something that even he normally couldn't bear to eat. But Long Chen actually said that he had malicious intent by preparing it for others. How could he not be infuriated? That's right. If you don't give us a satisfactory explanation, then I, Zhao Mingxuan, will not spare you for accusing young master Feng Zhang, said Zhao Mingxuan. 
The others also stood, saying a few words. They looked like they were just about to kill Long Chen. They had finally grasped the chance that they were waiting for to get rid of Long Chen. In front of all their anger, Long Chen continued to appear indifferent. He was so calm that even those two fourth heaven stage world kings felt impressed. It had to be known that facing so many terrifying heavenly geniuses wasn't something that even the two of them dared to take casually. But Long Chen seemed to view them as inconsequential. Furthermore, Long Chen had continuously given them an unfathomable feeling of mystery. When Long Chen's killing intent erupted, even the two of them were shaken. Hence, they were very curious about his origins. Ignoring Feng Xiang and the other's furious glares, Long Chen looked at Yu Qingxuan. Do you know the origins of this swallow nest? Isn't it when the swallow uses the essence within their body to make a nest? Asked Yu Qingxuan with confusion. Yes. But the golden silk blood swallow is different. They are spirit beasts of heaven and earth. When they lay eggs, they will spit out the energy of their own bodies to make the nest. Hence, this nest will contain its essence blood. The essence blood is used to nourish its descendants. Thus, while there are many kinds of swallow nests, only the blood swallow's nest is exceedingly precious. It is because that essence blood is its life. When it creates a nest and someone takes it away, it will spit out more essence blood to create a new nest. As someone continuously takes it away and it spits out more essence blood to create more nests, the nests it creates grow redder. That is because its energy is running out, and it can only use increasingly more of its essence blood to make up for it. This nest is the final one that the golden silk blood swallow made right before its death. It left its entire life to this nest, because without this nest, its child would be unable to incubate. It spat out all its life and died for this goal. For this nest to appear before us represents that the blood swallow and all its children in its stomach died powerlessly just like that. Long Chen's voice was heavy with emotion. Yu King Shuan's heart ached. She hadn't expected that this precious swallow nest was obtained through such cruel means. Sorry, I can't eat this swallow nest. Yu Qingxuan pushed the swallow nest in front of her away. Considering her kind nature, she couldn't accept such food. Feng Xiang was instantly embarrassed and looked at Long Chen with increasing hatred. This fellow was absolutely hateful, constantly going against him. Navalu, come Long Chen, what are you saying? In the cultivation world, the weak are devoured by the strong. Are you a vegetarian? Who are you to act like some saint? demanded one of them. I'm not vegetarian. I eat meat, and I've killed more life forms than all of you have seen in your entire life. But there is one thing. I never harm kind life forms. I always feel like kind lives should be treated as warmly as possible. The golden silk blood swallow is a good species amongst spirit beasts. It does not compete with the rest of the world and simply relies on absorbing the spiritual chi of heaven and earth to live. They are also auspicious beasts of heaven and earth, close to the human race. Sometimes when humans are in trouble, they will even appear to help the human race. Humans need to have respect and gratitude in their hearts. If you eat their lives, they might not hate you, but the heavenly Tao's will settle this debt with you. Right now, those calamities have not befallen you yet, but you are already far from fortune, said Long Chen, shaking his head. Although the golden silk blood swallow was not as famous as the butterfly spirit race, it was still a species of auspicious beasts, and a very kind life form at that. What a huge joke! When has my golden crow race ever been afraid? We'll kill and eat whoever we want. The cultivation world is a cruel world where the weak are devoured. That's the truth of the heavenly Tao's. If you are eaten, it only proves that you aren't strong enough. That is your fate, scoffed Wu Yang. If you eat it, 
I won't stop you. I'm simply warning Fairy Kingshuan. I'm afraid that she will regret it for the rest of her life if she eats it. As for the rest of you, to tell the truth, your life and death means nothing to me. Don't treat yourselves as so important, said Long Chen indifferently. Long Chen, truly thank you. If you hadn't warned me, and I learned of it in the future, I would definitely feel guilty for the rest of my lifetime. Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen gratefully. Long Chen smiled and indicated that it was nothing more than a minor matter. He continued eating as if nothing had happened. But Feng Ziang and the others were so enraged that they were about to explode. How could they still eat? Seeing Long Chen eating so nonchalantly, they had the urge to flip the entire table into his face. This fellow was truly hateful. Long Chen, how are you so amazing? How do you know so much? Seeing Feng Ziang and the others' fury that was barely contained, while Long Chen acted as if all of that had nothing to do with him, Yu Qingxuan hastily interjected. Long Chen was in the midst of stuffing meat into his mouth. As he didn't chew it enough, and ended up swallowing too quickly, it was stuck in his throat. Yu Qingxuan hastily passed a cup of wine to him. He only managed to swallow the meat with the help of that wine. Long Chen smiled. Thank you. Ah, in truth, I don't have much power, and my looks aren't so great. My mom told me that ugly people need to read more books. When I arrived in the immortal world, I ended up spending some time in an academy. I conned the dean there, managing to sweet-talk him into making me a heaven master of the academy. Just think about it. As a heaven master, I have to have some learning at least, right? I was forced beyond my skills, afraid of being exposed. So I studied and taught, studied and taught. As a result, I ended up learning a great deal, but not too much of any category. It's the typical model of Jack of all trades, master of none. Even as he talked, he continued eating. He was very expressive, giving off a humorous and particularly amiable feeling. Yu Qingxuan had never met someone like this. All the people that she had encountered were very respectful toward her and were careful with their words. But Long Chen was particularly relaxed, as if they had no statuses to bind each other. They could chat with no other thought other than the conversation. This was a feeling that she had never had before, so she felt particularly interested. Feng Xiang and the others watched as almost all the good stuff on the table was eaten by Long Chen. This table had become his display stage. Hearing Yu Qingxuan's occasional laughter, they were so enraged that their eyes turned green. I heard that someone commented on this lowly one's humble wine. May I see them? Suddenly, a clear voice resounded throughout heaven and earth. When they heard that voice, Feng Ziang and the others instantly smiled delightedly. Support us at Navalung, Kam Yu Qingxuan was startled. She instantly realized that someone from the Wine God Palace had come. Someone had definitely spread the word that Long Chen had criticized the pear flower wine. Based on Feng Ziang and the others' expressions, it was clear that they had done it secretly. Feng Zhang and the others were smiling, and so was Long Chen. He announced, It was I who casually judged your wine. If I've offended you, please forgive me. If Senior doesn't mind, why not come chat with me for a bit? Space suddenly shook and a figure appeared. When they sensed that person's aura, the two fourth heaven stage world kings instantly stood up and appeared beside Yu Qingxuan. Chapter 3514 It was a middle-aged man in gray clothes. His facial features were delicate, with a beard and mustache, and he looked to be around forty. Also, his clothes were shabby and definitely weren't high quality. Yet, he gave off a feeling of being washed and clean. Although he was no longer young, he simply gave off the aura of a mature man. However, his gaze was rather apathetic, and it seemed that nothing could draw his attention. 
he gave off a feeling of being so lofty that he wasn't easy to get along with. The most shocking thing about him, though, was his concealed aura. Even those two fourth heaven stage world kings felt their hearts shaking, enduring immense pressure. Both of them then got closer to Yu Qingxuan, afraid of something happening to her. That person's gaze swept across every one and somehow settled on Long Chen. After that, unexpectedly, he bowed slightly toward Long Chen. I am Zhu Zhuzi. May I ask for Sir's great name? Everyone was shocked. This expert from the Wine God Palace was actually so courteous to a little divine lord. Senior is too courteous. This junior is Long Chen. Greetings, Senior. Long Chen returned his bow with a smile. Excellent. There was no need for him to go looking. Feng Zhang had helped him. Then I won't stand on courtesy. Someone sent a photographic jade, saying that someone was judging my pear flower wine. I didn't dare to tarry and immediately came to hear your pointers. Mr. Long Chen said that using rootless water in my wine was a mistake and I should use morning dew. But I do not understand. Morning dew contains the kai of vegetation and wood. Using it to make the pear flower wine will definitely affect its richness and mellowness. I tried it many times, but no matter how careful I was, it would still affect the taste. Does Mr. have any guidance for me? asked Zhu Zhuzi. Senior's name is good, and it's not just for show. You really do have a spacious, accepting heart, willing to ask and learn from others. One, it's admirable. In truth, the majority of morning dew contains the kai of vegetation and wood. This taste is sweet, light, and contains a bit of bitterness. In my opinion, it is this trace of bitterness that can give your wine greater flavor. This is based on the principle of perfection appears flawed. Senior's pear flower wine seeks to be excessively perfect, resulting in it instead being coarse. The five colors blind the eyes, the five tones deafen the ears, the five flavors fill the mouth with delight. Other than the five colors, the five tones, and the five flavors, there must be other colors, other tones, and other flavors. Otherwise, heaven and earth would not be complete, and there would be nothing to use as a mirror. It is when the heavenly dows are complete that there is a clash of positive and negative, tall and short, big and small, yin and yang. Senior's pear flower wine is almost perfect, but is lacking a slight bitterness. Without bitterness, there can be no sweetness. Without experiencing something easy, you don't know what difficult is. Without the tiny streams, there would be no mighty rivers. Without the earth, how could you look up at the heavens? These are just my random thoughts, and if you feel like I have misspoken, please forgive this junior. Long Chen bowed slightly. The current him didn't seem to possess the slightest air of youth. Instead, he seemed like a wise and erudite master as he spoke frankly and with assurance, his words overflowing with the profundities of the heavens. Everyone was startled. Yu Qingxuan had a strange light in her beautiful eyes. With time, she felt that Long Chen was very mysterious. Just what was in his head, how did he know so much? Let alone her, even the two world kings felt like their mental realms had instantly grown clearer after hearing him say this. Some questions that they had never managed to answer now seemed to become clear. Previously, Long Chen had mentioned that he was a heaven master. Back then, Yu Qingxuan half believed him, thinking that he might just be joking with her. But now, she found that he really might be a heaven master. It had to be known that amongst the major sects and powers, heaven masters were people of great prestige and wisdom. They were seniors who had spent their entire lives studying and learning. When people thought of heaven masters, they would think of those old, white-haired fellows. Thus, everyone had treated Long Chen's previous words as a joke. But now, the principles that he spoke took their breaths away. Zhu Zhuzi nodded after hearing this. 
Mr. Long Chen is too right. Back in the day, I brought my pear flower wine as an offering to a senior to judge. That senior merely gave me four words, warm start, cold end. At that time, I thought that he was praising me, saying that I had controlled the heat perfectly, that I had used its cold and cool kai just right. Thinking back, I really was foolish. Warm start, cold end, bitter finish, sweet beginning. Yu Kingshuan suddenly couldn't help blurting out such a thing. Zhu Zhuzi turned to Yu Kingshuan. Young beautiful miss, you truly are wise. You instantly understood the deeper meaning behind these words. I myself didn't understand at all. It is only thanks to Mr. Longchen's pointers today that I thought of that senior's evaluation. I truly am ashamed. That senior meant the same thing as Mr. Long Chen, that this pear flower wine was lacking a trace of bitterness, resulting in it being flowery but lacking any fruitiness. It is not the true Tao. To think that I actually gave this wine away to others. I'm truly ashamed. Su Juzi's praise delighted Yu Kingshuan. It had to be known that all the wine god palaces people had odd characters. To obtain the approval of such a figure was something worthy of being proud of. Senior is too humble. This pear flower wine can already be counted as top grade amongst wines. I was so bold as to give some criticism because I wanted to draw you over. To tell you the truth, this junior was friends with the wine god palace back in the mortal world. I received the wine god palace's aid several times, which is the only reason I survived. Junior has always had gratitude for the wine god palace. Other than that, truthfully, ever since I ascended, I haven't had any good wine to drink because... Hee hee, you understand, laughed Long Chen. Ah, Zhu Jadai laughed. Treasured blades go to heroes, pretty makeup goes to beauties, and fine wine naturally can only go to those who understand wine. Brother Long Chen, why don't you take a trip with me to the wine god palace? As long as you are willing to judge the wines and pick out their flaws, my wine god palace will have an endless supply of fine wine for you to take. Hearing that Long Chen was closely connected to the wine god palace in the lower world, Zhu Juzi instantly seemed to become a different person. He was no longer so aloof, and actually switched to calling Long Chen brother. As a master of the wine Dao, his mental realm was definitely frighteningly high. No one could lie or pretend to be an expert in front of him. The wine god palace's experts all disliked those hypocritical people who would lie to them. Thus, rarely anyone could get in contact with them. However, once they did recognize someone, they would view that person as being on their side. This was something that Long Chen had long since experienced on the Martial Heaven continent. Thus, when he saw someone from the Wine God Palace, he naturally felt close to him. Seeing all this, Fang Zhang and the others were enraged. They had stealthily sent word to the Wine God Palace to make them cause trouble for Long Chen. However, they hadn't expected these two to instantly become friends as soon as they met. He even invited Long Chen to be a guest of the Wine God Palace. Where was the justice in that? Every time they fought with Long Chen, they ended up losing. Now, it was a complete loss. Before this, they could mock Long Chen's origins. But now, the Wine God Palace actually invited him to taste their fine wines. Just that alone was something that countless people would dream of but would never be able to touch. To go to the Wine God Palace to taste their fine wines is something that I would love. However, I want to bring a friend as well. Is that all right? Long Chan looked at Yu Qingchuan, causing her to instantly smile widely, while the other's expressions sank. Support us at Navaloon, come one there is an expression close to his name referring to a spacious, accepting heart. Chapter 3515 Navaloon Comet was very clear that Yu Kingshuan longed to go as well. 
the mysterious wine god palace was not a place that anyone could go to even divine venerates would be rejected at the door if they weren't invited it was said that the wine god palace's interior was filled with great masters of the wine dao every single person there made wine with their own unique characteristics hence the wine god palace's wine was the most famous wine within the nine heavens and ten lands but the people of the wine god palace were lofty they only gave their wine away and never sold it thus their wine was something that people could only hear about but never get a taste of yu king shuan was naturally happy at long chen was extending an invitation to her no matter who it was they would be very curious about novel and mysterious things everyone said that curiosity killed the cat but women were even more curious than cats of course it is no problem this young lady's wisdom is something that i trust many senior apprentice brothers and sisters of the wine god palace will be delighted by said zhu juzi yu king chun was even happier to hear that zhu juzi did not refuse mr zhu juzi for you to descend upon my dragon blaze prefecture it was truly rude of me not to greet and welcome you suddenly the void shook and another figure appeared in the air above the restaurant long chen's heart shook this person appeared silently and without warning his cultivation base was absolutely terrifying brother feng is courteous if it wasn't due to your son sending me the word i would have missed this opportunity to meet junior brother long chen i have to thank your son said zhu Yuzi this person was the blaze dragon prefecture's city lord feng zhen's father a seventh heaven stage world king learning this person's status relieved long chen it was no wonder that he was powerful so he was a seventh heaven stage world king however his warning also gave long chen a sense of alarm this seventh heaven stage world king was actually capable of merging with the void and appearing at will then what kind of level would a peak world king like in Puta be at as expected the dean's words were correct advancing through the nine heaven stages of the world king realm was like scaling the heavens step by step every single heaven stage was as different as heaven and earth he absolutely could not be careless after he had fought and slain lyo benkang's avatars he started to look down on him now he no longer dared to do so originally long chen had thought that even if he couldn't beat his opponent with the lightning falcon races movement art he should be able to escape however that confidence was no longer so solid how can you say that my child was simply jealous and couldn't stand someone more outstanding than him so he did some foolish things that harmed others without benefiting himself i've made you laugh at me however youngsters always need to take a few losses in order to grow i normally can't be bothered to deal with him letting him run into a few more nails isn't bad since you wish to bring people to the wine god palace i will be so shameless as to ask a favor of you can you bring these youngsters with you to see the world asked feng xiang's father you really are making things hard on me well fine i'll bring them all but let me just say this if they don't abide by the rules and are expelled don't blame me said zhu Juzi. from their tones it seemed that the two of them were friends and very familiar with each other which was why zhu Juzi didn't refuse if they don't abide by the rules just kill them for me that's fine i'll see if i can put in some effort and birth a new one laughed feng xiang's father long chen smiled slightly this person was quite straightforward no wonder he could be friends with someone from the wine god palace he was quite the character listen well this opportunity was something obtained through begging by lowering my own face if you don't listen to the rules it's like slapping me in the face if you dare to cause trouble in the wine god palace then i won't care how the wine god palace deals with you 
but if you let me catch you afterward, I'll definitely beat you half dead at least. Also, Feng Zhang makes sure to put on a decent display this time. Bring me back a few jugs of wine, and we will be fine. If you don't bring back anything, I'll break your legs. Feng Zhang's father actually said such vicious words to him. Feng Zhang's expression instantly changed. How can I do that? Why can't you? Didn't you come up with so many tricks to harm others? Are you out of ideas now? This is your mission. If you can't bring back anything, then I won't just break your legs but also strip you of your position as the future city lord. Your third brother can take over, said Feng Zhang's father coldly. That appearance of his did not seem to be joking. Find the original at Navaloon. Calm hearing this, Feng Zhang was shocked and enraged. Before this, he could always brag that he would be the future city lord of the Dragon Blaze Prefecture. Now, his old man had given him a doomed mission. If he couldn't get the wine, he would have nothing. The wine god palace's wine could only be obtained by those knowledgeable about wine. Only then would the wine god palace favor them and bestow their wine on them. However, he didn't know anything about wine. How could he obtain any? Are you asking me to go steal it? raged Fang Sang. If you want, go ahead and try. Will you have the crap beaten out of you then? If you don't get beaten, I'll be the one doing it, said Feng Zhang's father coldly. Are you doing this to me on purpose? shouted Feng Zhang furiously. Don't you have your little tricks? If you can use them to harm others, you can use them to get some wine. Whether it's through deception or lying, in any case, you must bring me back a few jugs of wine. This is your trial. If you can't even do such a small thing, how will you oversee an entire prefecture? If you can't obtain it, then don't bother coming back. That way, I won't have to see you and feel vexed, snorted Feng Zhang's father. After that, he cupped his fists to Zhu Zhuzi. I'll trouble you. Zhu Zhuzi smiled and waved him off. Forming hand seals, everyone within the restaurant felt space quiver, and they vanished. Only those two world king elders were left. They exchanged a glance along with a bitter smile. They wanted to go too. Unfortunately, they didn't have that fortune. Long Chen and the others suddenly found themselves in an enchanting world. The air was particularly clear and fresh here, and even the sky seemed especially blue. It was a world of green mountains and clear water. Everyone, the wine god palace's territory is up ahead. However, the space here is special. You cannot fly or use transportation formations. You can only walk in. Brother Long Chen, please, said Zhu Zhuzi. Long Chen and the others followed Zhu Zhuzi deeper into the forest. Fang Zhang's expression was gloomy the entire time. He didn't say anything to anyone. It was then that Zhu Zhuzi's voice rang out in his mind. Feng Zhang, your father is testing you. If you cannot grasp this chance, your father might really give up on raising you. Feng Zhang was startled and heard Zhu Zhuzi continue. Your father and I go a long way back. I will give you a reminder. Your future is in the hands of one person. If you cannot grasp this opportunity, then no one can help you. One person, you mean. Feng Zhang involuntarily looked at the one walking shoulder to shoulder with Yu Qingxuan, Long Chen. Chapter 3516 As they continued onward, it really was just as Long Chen predicted. Everyone's cultivation base was gradually stripped away from them. Feng Zhang and the others instantly grew uneasy, a touch of fear appearing in their eyes. Yu Qingxuan was also a bit panicked, but she wasn't as obvious as the others. Long Chen smiled and asked, Are you afraid? Not afraid, just not used to it. I trust that the wine god palace won't harm us. Furthermore, I feel particularly safe with you beside me. 
You'll protect me, said Yu Kingshuan with a smile. No way. I'm hoping for you to protect me. To tell you the truth, other than bragging to scare people off, I don't have any ability, said Long Chen. I don't believe you. Yu Kingshuan looked at Long Chen, and her smile did not falter. She really liked listening to Long Chen talking. It felt particularly interesting. Furthermore, he was different from everyone else that she had met. Others were doing their best to show themselves off, but Long Chen was doing his best to cover himself up. It made her extremely curious. No one knew just how many things Long Chen was hiding. His smile was something that she felt to be so sincere. It was warm like sunlight, making her feel close to him. It was like with him present, there was nothing to fear. Seeing Long Chen and Yu Qingchuan talking and laughing, Zhao Mingchuan, Wu Yang, and the others were all envious. As for Feng Zhang, after being warned by Zhu Zhuzi, he no longer appeared to be so angry. Clearly, Zhu Zhuzi had shown him the way. If he wanted to protect his position, he had to surrender to Long Chen. He was very clear on his father's character. What he said he would do. If Feng Xiang couldn't bring back that wine, his father would really give up on him. No one could change his father's mind. Although he was the most talented of his father's sons, he was profoundly aware of just how unfathomable his father was. No one could see through him. His father almost never looked after them. But this time, it seemed that Feng Zhang's act of leaking the news of Long Chen judging the pear flower wine to the wine god palace had drawn his father's ire. In other words, if Feng Zhang didn't deal with this matter properly, if he couldn't give his father a satisfactory response, he would be abandoned by his family. He was filled with hatred for Long Chen at the start, but now he had calmed down. If he put his jealousy aside and thought carefully, it seemed that Long Chen really was outstanding. Perhaps the humble him that he showed off right now was nothing more than a disguise. Having woken up from his fury, Feng Zhang was gradually starting to feel that something was off. His father would not make him do this for no rhyme or reason. There had to be some deeper meaning. Brother Long, do you not feel any fear? asked Feng Zhang. Hearing this, Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others were all stunned. Why did Feng Xiang's tone suddenly change? Long Chen was also a bit surprised. But seeing that Feng Xiang didn't seem to have any malice, he indifferently said, I am a very normal person with no halos of light like the rest of you. Even once people's halos are stripped from them, I am still myself. The rest of you are all unrivaled heavenly geniuses, who like that feeling of supreme power? If you lose that, you will naturally feel flustered. Your heart cannot be at ease after losing what you depend on. But as for myself, I would like to live an ordinary life. I don't need others to revere me or look up to me, and I don't need to trample over others to live. Thus, I don't really feel any fear right now. Only someone who can look up and feel no guilt to the heavens, look down and feel no guilt to the earth, look out and feel no guilt to man, look in and feel no guilt to the heart can possess such a magnanimous heart. Junior brother Long Chen, even at such a young age, you possess such a high realm. It's truly admirable, said Zhu Zhuzi. Senior overpraised me. This little one simply likes the ordinary, said Long Chen with a smile. As they spoke, they passed through the lush forest. Up ahead was a small stone path winding through the grass. It was a peaceful and serene vision. After a bit, they arrived at a gate. There were three large words, Wine God Palace, written on top of it. But it was askew and very ugly, like it was written by a child who didn't know how to write. Junior brother, what do you think of these characters? Zhu Zhuzi paused and pointed at the characters above the gate. Long Chen smiled. To Yu Qingxuan, he said, 
King Shuen, why don't you take a look and see what kind of profundities you can see from these characters? Long Chen had actually tossed the question to Yu King Shuen. Hence, Yu King Shuen looked at the characters for a long time without seeing anything special. She then turned to Feng Xiang and the others. I can't see anything. All of you are arrogant geniuses in your own right. You should be able to see some clues right. Long Chen couldn't help smiling. Yu King Shuen was a quick learner. She had tossed the question to others as well. Feng Zhang and the others were embarrassed. Those three characters were crooked and ugly, so they didn't see anything special about them. If they had to say something special about those characters, it would be that it was particularly ugly. But who dared to say such a thing? Wouldn't they be expelled without even entering the gate then? Cough, Fairy King Shuen is peerlessly wise. If even you couldn't see anything, then with our humble aptitude, we definitely can't see anything, said Feng Xiang, coughing a bit. It went without saying that Feng Xiang's reaction was quite quick. He turned the question back on Yu Qingxuan without embarrassing himself. Yu Qingxuan smiled and looked at Long Chen. Long Chen also smiled. If my guess is correct, these characters were personally written by the wine god. Furthermore, it was done after he was drunk. The characters were written very ugly most likely because he was so drunk that he couldn't even carry the brush steadily. For him to say that, Yu Qingxuan's smile gradually vanished. This evaluation of Long Chen's was a bit too impudent. No. She listened as Long Chen continued. The writing is clumsy, and there is endless wine intent merged inside of it. Is senior testing my alcohol tolerance? This little one doesn't dare to try it. Amazing. You are able to see it. This truly was personally written by the wine god after he was drunk. At that time, he said if the heart contains two things, it will lose focus on both. The wine god focused so much on the wine intent that the characters he wrote are ugly. After writing these three characters, he passed out. Also, after waking up, he stared at these characters for a long time before recognizing what he had written. Zhu Zhuzi wasn't the slightest bit angry with Long Chen's evaluation. Instead, he smiled. The characters that the wine god had written, he himself didn't recognize. Yu King Shuen laughed. To tell the truth, if those three words were not hanging over this place, there really wouldn't be many people capable of recognizing them. Find the original at Navaloon, come suddenly. A startled cry rang out. Two of the people that had come with Feng Xiang and the others suddenly collapsed on the ground, their faces flushing. They began to snore as if they had drunk so much that they were dead drunk. It's fine. They used spiritual strength to investigate these three characters and were affected by the wine intent. Don't touch them. Let them sleep for two days and they'll be fine, said Zhu Yuzi. Everyone was shocked. Fortunately, they had been too afraid of the wine god palace to use their spiritual strength. Otherwise, they would have collapsed just like these two. Just glancing with spiritual strength resulted in sleeping for two days. That was too terrifying, no? Everyone walked through the gates. After that, Long Chen instantly saw the wine god's statue, but he came to a sudden pause when he saw it. Chapter 3517 What? Zhu Zhuzi had not introduced everyone to the wine god, nor had he bowed or done anything to the wine god's statue, but Long Chen was still struck dumb by the statue that he saw. Hence, Zhu Zhuzi couldn't help asking what it was. The wine god that I saw didn't look like this. In the mortal world, the wine god's statue that I saw was of a young and handsome refined man, said Long Chen, gesturing with his hands. This statue of the wine god depicted an old man that could be described as disheveled. His clothes were ragged, and he held a wine gourd as he lay there like a beggar. Long Chen almost couldn't believe it. 
the statue that you saw depicted the wine god in his youth this is the wine god after he grew old the wine god roams the nine heavens and we don't know where he went it's been tens of millions of years since we've last seen his tracks however after the wine god left the wine god palace he told us not to allow outsiders to worship his old statue as for the reason we don't know either said zhu Zhuzi. long chen nodded looking at the statue although he felt that this elder was slovenly he appeared even more free and at ease he was completely unrestrained having reached freedom of the most profound state perhaps it was because his own realm was too low he wasn't able to see any clues he then walked through with zhu Zhuzi just like that inside the inner wine god palace a familiar sight entered long chen's eyes in that instant long chen felt like he had returned to the martial heaven continent's wine god palace the same familiar buildings here made him think of Tukai and Sheng, the high priest, and the others. Thinking of the high priest made him think of Tukai and Sheng, which also reminded him of his parents and his little sister Long Zioyu. Seeing this familiar sight made Long Chen sink back into his memories. His eyes suddenly reddened. Long Chen, are you all right? Yu Qingxuan suddenly saw the pain in Long Chen's eyes. As a result, her own heart shuddered. This gaze gave her heartache. It's nothing. I just thought of some things from the past. Let's go. The dueling arenas that the seniors of the Wine God Palace have arranged are up ahead. As long as we win those duels, we'll have more wine to drink, said Long Chen, taking a deep breath to settle his emotions. He then smiled at Yu Qingxuan. Since Long Chen didn't answer, Yu Qingxuan didn't press him further. But for some reason, when she saw his eyes redden, her own eyes felt wet and her heart ached. She didn't know why she would feel this way. As they continued on the small path, small huts appeared. Although there were some differences compared to the Martial Heaven Continent's Wine God Palace, it was mostly the same arrangement. Long Chen and the others first went to Zhu Yuzi's house. This house didn't look big from the outside, but the interior actually wasn't that small. Even with over ten of them walking in, it still didn't feel cramped. As Zhu Yuzi took out a wine jug for everyone, they were delighted. It had to be known that normally, drinking a single cup of the wine god palace's wine was as difficult as ascending the heavens. Although they were the peak heavenly geniuses of various major powers, they were not qualified to interact with the wine god palace. Hence, for them to be able to drink wine inside the wine god palace was enough for them to brag about for a lifetime. Most importantly, Zhu Zhuzi actually offered them various kinds of fine wine. If they didn't come here, they wouldn't have a chance to drink any of this in their lifetime. Based on the wine god palace's rule, anyone who could say the particularities of their wine or pick out some flaws would receive the wine god palace's finest wine. As for Long Chen, he was an expert. He was no good at making wine, but when it came to tasting wine, he definitely excelled. As every wine entered his stomach, he was almost always able to say its origins, the work that went into it and even some of the adjuncts that were added to it. Although it wasn't the entire thing, 99% was right on the mark. As a result, Zhu Zhuzi was delighted and offered Long Chen all the fine wine that he had created. The others simply benefited from him and got some wine as well. Regretfully, they were only able to say that it was good wine and nothing else. They were like fools watching Long Chen's display. Now, they felt a bit regretful. Did they exist just to make Long Chen appear even more brilliant? Was it their ignorance that contrasted Long Chen's learning? However, even if they were unhappy, there was no way they dared to show it here. They could only endure it. On the other hand, Fang Zhang had become much steadier after Zhu Zhuzi's warning. He also formed a trace of admiration for Long Chen's learning, 
It was no longer pure jealousy. At this moment, Yu Kingshuan's eyes twinkled. Long Chen's comprehension of the wine Dao was incredibly deep. Furthermore, as he judged the wine, he would also brush upon the pill Dao. The principles that he spoke of then were just as profound. Only she could grasp just how unfathomable Long Chen's realm was. Long Chen's ease and confidence when he evaluated the wine was particularly attractive. Also, Long Chen would occasionally say a few jokes that made people laugh. Brother Long, today it really is all thanks to you. Your judgments have benefited me immensely. I'm preparing to go into seclusion to make more wine. However, I've given you everything that I have right now. You should go chat with the senior apprentice brothers and sisters over there. I suddenly feel like I've brought a wolf into the house. Ha ha ha. I have a feeling that you are about to earn plenty of jugs, said Zhu Zhu Zi with a bitter smile. Long Chen's comprehension of the wine Dao was amazing, and he was also an expert alchemist. Moreover, he had previous experience with merging the wine Dao and the pill Dao, so he could be called an old master. Long Chen found that while the wine god Palace's experts had high cultivation bases when it came to mental realms, they seemed to be somewhat lacking compared to their experts in the mortal world. Perhaps it was due to the immortal world's experts having such long longevity, so the rhythm of life was too slow. It wasn't like in the mortal world where people aged, grew old, got sick, and died so quickly. That short life was precisely what allowed people to comprehend the true meaning of life and the workings of the heavenly Taoists. Long Chen was quite shameless, directly saying that he would come try the wine that Zhu Zhuzi would make in the future, and that he would definitely handle the disposal of all his old wine. Long Chen shamelessly sucked in thousands of jugs of Zhu Zhuzi's wine, making Zhao Mingxuan and the others' eyes redden. Those were priceless treasures. After accompanying him for half a day, other than drinking a few cups of wine, they were entirely just there to show off how brilliant Long Chen was. In the end, Long Chen took all the wine. Yu Kingshuan's gaze had almost never left Long Chen, so all of this was driving them crazy. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. Zhu Yuzi then turned them away, so Zhao Mingxuan and the others said goodbye and left. However, Feng Ziyang actually stayed behind, causing Zhao Mingxuan, Wu Yang, and the others' expressions to twitch but they didn't say anything. It was only once they left could Feng Zhang thicken his face enough to ask Long Chen whether he could give him a few jugs of wine to bring home for his father. He also had to apologize to Long Chen for what had happened in the restaurant. Although Feng Zhang's strong young master air was dislikable, no matter what, Long Chen had eaten his food and drunk his wine. He couldn't be stingy in return, right? Long Chen actually gave him three different jugs of wine. Hence, Feng Zhang was delighted, hastily thanking Long Chen before leaving. Now, it was just Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan remaining here. Long Chen then smiled at Yu Qingxuan. Let's go. I'll bring you to get rich through conning. We'll split everything fifty-fifty. Chapter 3518 Long Chen brought Yu Qingxuan to the next house to pay a visit. What Yu Qingxuan hadn't expected was for every cultivator inside the wine god palace to have entirely different characters. Zhu Zhuzi was like a scholar who had achieved the Tao. He was modest and open-hearted with a graceful bearing. It made others naturally feel close to him. However, the others were different. The next house that they knocked on contained a sloppy old beggar. Long Chen drank dozens of cups of his wine, not paying the slightest attention to how his wine cup was covered in dust. Long Chen then said a few words about this wine, causing the old beggar to be wild with joy. He treated Long Chen as a close friend. This person had been alone his whole life and had relied on begging to survive. One day, he encountered someone from the wine god palace 
who gave him pointers, and with a flash of enlightenment, he became immersed in the wine Tao. When Long Chen drank the beggar's wine, he fully explained the mental realm within this wine. As a result, this old beggar was very moved. It was like an expert painter that finally encountered someone who could understand his paintings. Hence, Long Chen gained another large batch of fine wine from this beggar. This time, it wasn't Long Chen who asked for it, but the old beggar who gave it to him. Furthermore, it was the kind where the beggar refused to let him not take it. Dogs are loyal, while scholars are heartless. As expected, these ancient words did not deceive me. Once they left the beggar's house, Long Chen sighed. This senior was someone with his own story. He had lived a life of loneliness, and yet was so generous. If senior Zhu Juzi heard you say that, he might beat you, warned you, King Shuen, covering a smile. Long Chen was clearly saying that Zhu Juzi was stingy with his wine in comparison. Long Chen acted shocked, as if he had never thought of that before. He then carefully looked at Zhu Juzi's house. Seeing no reaction, he relaxed. This thief-like act made Yu Kingshuan laugh. At the third house, a peerlessly beautiful woman opened the door, causing both of their eyes to brighten. She was tall and slender. Her snow-white neck in particular made people think of a beautiful crane. She smiled at the two of them and warmly invited them in. After that, she treated them to some fruit wine. Yu Kingshuan was also a peerless beauty but she couldn't help staring at this woman. She was attracted to her noble temperament. In the end, other than the wine that she treated them to, she also gave them many jugs of wine. As a result, Yu Kingshuan was overwhelmed with favor. It had to be known that all the wine had previously been given to Long Chen and not her. Senior, I don't understand wine. For you to give this wine to me, isn't it a waste of heavenly treasures? said Yu Kingshuan, feeling a bit at a loss. How could that be? You are both kind people. This young man in particular has shown kindness to my spirit race, having the blessing of the spirit race on him. As long as you like it, you can take all the wine I have here, said the woman. So you're from the spirit race. Yu Kingshuan was startled. She was unable to sense any aura from her, after receiving the pointers from a senior of the wine god palace, I used wine to achieve the Tao. I experienced a hundred flavors of human life. Naturally, my aura has become imperceptible due to that. There's no need to feel surprised, said the woman of the spirit race with a smile. She was very warm to them. It was just like a gentle mother, making them feel particularly comfortable. Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan stayed a while with her before they reluctantly left. Once they left, Yu Qingxuan looked at Long Chen in confusion. Long Chen, why didn't you help that big sister by evaluating her wine? Or does this mean that her wine has reached the realm of perfection? Long Chen shook his head, walking as he said, This world does not contain perfection. I didn't evaluate her wine because what she pursues is different. The spirit race's life forms are all kind-hearted and they don't have wild ambitions or worldly desires. Making wine is a kind of pleasure for her. If she makes good wine, then that's good. If she makes bad wine, then that's good as well. She will be happy and content either way. This is the soul called those who have no desires reach the heavenly downs. This senior is actually the person closest to the heavenly downs, and her kindness is like water. Water benefits the ten thousand races but asks for nothing. It is precisely because it does not ask for anything that it can clearly see the things that we can't. You want me, someone whose eyes are clouded by desire, to judge a wise sage who has no desires? Although my face is thick, it's not that strong. Yu Qingxuan couldn't help laughing. How can someone as wise and cool-headed as you be clouded with desires? I naturally am clouded by desires. 
my goal was to loot all of her wine but she actually took the initiative to give them to me that actually made me too embarrassed to ask for any said long chen almost sounding vexed seeing that depressed appearance of his despite knowing that he was doing it intentionally yu kingshuan still laughed when looking at her smile that was like a flower blooming long chen's heart warmed if he could make her so happy every day perhaps he would feel a bit less guilt seeing long chen just foolishly looking at her yu kingshuan's face reddened slightly she didn't quite dare to look at his eyes but she did feel a certain warmth inside her heart upon seeing her blush long chen stopped staring at her what he wanted was for yu kingshuan to feel his emotions but an excessive display would make her feel pressure long chen had sworn to himself that this time he would treat her properly he wouldn't let her come to any harm or suffer under any pressure he only hoped for her to always be happy long chen then brought yu kingshu into the next house this time it was a stern old pedant although he took out wine his face was so stern it was like he was a teacher teaching students after long chen drank it before he could give any judgment that elder spoke he directly critiqued long chen and yu kingshuan for everything from the way they held the wine cup to the position of their fingers how their heads weren't tilted right and how they put their cups down hearing this long chen and yu kingshuan exchanged a glance was this wine tasting why did it feel more like a class instead when long chen gave his criticism the elder refused to accept it and directly retorted against his criticism leaving long chen speechless this was different from what he had expected this old fellow was too stubborn and didn't allow others to point out his flaws it was the kind of stubbornness that would rather perish than repent in the end long chen told him if you are so wrong that you use vinegar as ink then even if you write for half a lifetime it will still be sour a quick look at novel loon calm will leave you more fulfilled as expected they were kicked out once long chen and yu kingshuan were out of the elder's house they exchanged a glance and suddenly laughed they didn't know why they were laughing but they couldn't help it suddenly the door was kicked out causing the two of them to jump they hastily put away their smiles seeing how furious the elder was they thought that he might turn hostile unexpectedly he tossed out a pile of wine jugs at them and without saying a word returned to his house and slammed the door behind him after a moment of silence long chen pointed at those jugs of wine and asked do you think that he's giving them to us probably yu king shui also couldn't be sure that old fellow's character was too strange he he success let's go to the next one long chen laughed and directly put the wine away he brought the giggling yu king shu into the next house chapter three thousand five hundred nineteen at the next house an elder with a natural posed bearing welcomed them also he had a noble air around him one that startled long chin that was something that came from the depths of the soul it was a kind of ruler kai hence long chen and yu king shuan's hearts shook this elder was definitely a major figure with an amazing backstory even the kai flow of the ten thousand daos was concentrated into him and yet he was willing to just stay here and make wine moreover although this elder possessed this ruler kai his tone was calm and peaceful he invited the two of them to his house and offered them his wine when long chen tasted the wine he instantly felt a vast murderous aura strike him right in his soul at that instant he seemed to be able to see a brave warrior in armor wielding a spear crazily killing powerful enemies mountains of corpses rivers of blood he led countless warriors in battle taking over cities protecting his territory settling the chaos of war he made countless meritorious contributions this elder was filled with a grand aura despite being old despite his heart being calm now 
this wine was unable to conceal his heroic spirit long chen sighed as the storm rages the people endure as the emperor talks of ruling the universe it still isn't better than a good drink long chen had heard this little verse back in the mortal world he simply felt it to be very heroic so he liked it when he drank this senior's wine he couldn't help repeating it he felt as if this verse had been written just for this senior ha 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 what a nice verse junior brother is a literary talent i like it as the emperor talks of ruling the universe it still isn't better than a good drink the elder's laugh was like thunder shaking the ten thousand dows senior overpraises me it wasn't this junior brother that came up with this verse this verse was definitely made by a hero like senior said long chen shaking his head this person had a shocking background and had endured great storms and waves he had seen the world flourish but hadn't been lost within it in the end he came to comprehend the true essence of life and chose his own tao immersing himself within the wine tao living an unfettered life this was a kind of transcendence long chen was thousands of miles away from such a realm ha 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 that's not important for you to be capable of comprehending the meaning within this verse and the feeling within my wine it's proof that we are kindred spirits come junior brother let's toast said the elder grandly before this his aura was still reserved now that he was excited his ruler kai silently unfurled hence yu kingshuan felt her soul start to shake she couldn't help being shocked just what kind of cultivation base did this person have as for long chen he didn't seem affected by his ruler's pressure at all he cheerfully touched cups with the elder both of them then finished their cup in one gulp looked at each other and laughed as the two of them chatted they grew even more excited what shocked yu king shuen the most was that as they discussed the wine dao a sharp murderous aura rose looking outside the window it seemed that the wind and clouds had changed color the two of them went from the wine dao to discussing the martial dao and then from the martial dao to the heavenly dao's they touched on various aspects of learning long chen was capable of talking with him smoothly so the two of them grew increasingly excited in less than an instant's sticks worth of time they had drunk thirty jugs of wine with so much wine in his stomach long chen suddenly felt the world spinning around him he then tilted to the side and collapsed fast asleep seeing that long chen couldn't bear his wine the elder laughed he poured himself three more large bowls of his wine before turning to yu king chuan you are dong feng zichu's apprentice correct you know my old master asked yu king chuan feeling surprised and delighted the elder said i suppose that we know each other does he treat you well master has always treated me like his own daughter said yu king chuan from this person's tone it seemed that he was from the same generation as her master as a result she felt even greater reverence for the elder now don feng zichu was a divine venerate and had lived for countless years in the daluo star field there was no one that didn't know his name yu king shuen was born in the blazing heaven divine sect it was said to be the best place for jewel flame and pill cultivation so many of their disciples were both flame cultivators and alchemists this taboo cultivation style in the mortal world was actually treated as nothing special in the blazing heaven divine sect with the blazing heaven divine sect's disciples being both alchemists and flame cultivators they were incredibly powerful in the daluo star field the blazing heaven divine sect was a holy land that stood at the very peak even women and children were aware of it as for the sect master it was precisely dong feng zichu he was also the founder of the blazing heaven divine sect 
this sect with tens of millions of years of history only had one sect master all of this time dom feng Zichu was famous and yet he rarely revealed himself everyone had heard of his name but almost no one had ever seen him dong feng Zichu had taken only four disciples at the start of his life that was something from tens of millions of years ago unfortunately his disciples had not managed to become divine venerates and had all died novel lu comet had been tens of millions of years since don feng zichu had taken in any disciples but in this generation yu kingshuan was noticed and this expert that had been slumbering for countless years was moved he then accepted his fifth disciple yu kingshuan it was also said that she would be his final disciple the final disciple of an almighty divine venerate just how glorious was such a status thus with this halo of light around her no one dared to treat yu kingshuan with the slightest disrespect if it weren't for the chaotic star sea being particularly special yu kingshuan wouldn't even need any guards because no one dared to touch her although yu kingshuan was dong feng zichu's disciple even after all these years she had only seen her master three times it can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Navalun. come every time they met dong feng zichu would ask her about her cultivation see if she had encountered any bottlenecks and explain some of her questions although it was just three times to yu kingshuan who lacked a father and mother that felt like a huge grace she was full of gratitude toward dong feng zichu deep inside her soul she even viewed him as a father hearing that the elder nodded and didn't say anything else about it he asked her about her current cultivation state and gave her a few tiny pointers that benefited her immensely she was very grateful toward this elder who possessed ruler kai after a bit long chen woke up and awkwardly laughed junior was rude senior's wine is truly powerful long chen's alcohol tolerance was shocking so it was his first time collapsing on the table from drinking this elder's wine was truly domineering even he wasn't able to endure it the elder smiled you're already very amazing i thought that you would sleep for a full day and night but you woke up in just two hours it seems that your physical body is even stronger than I estimated. This girl is a good and kind lady. Make sure to protect her. The elder suddenly said such a thing, so Yu Qingxuan blushed, and Long Chen was startled. Despite not quite understanding it, Long Chen solemnly swore, I will properly protect her. Anyone who wishes to harm her will have to step over my corpse. Good, that's the grandeur a man should have. I won't keep you for too long today. This little bit of wine that I have is all yours. The elder smiled and took out hundreds of jugs of wine. Wang Chen laughed. Not standing on any courtesy, he took them all. This elder's wine was definitely top tier. It was extremely domineering, capable of cleansing the soul. It had inestimable benefits for cultivation. Long Chen thanked the elder and left with Yu Qingxuan. As for the elder, as he watched them leave, his smile slowly vanished, being replaced with a grave expression. Chapter 3520 Before Long Chen could knock on the next house, its wooden door slowly opened. After that, Long Chen and Yu Qingxuan's hair stood on end. They saw a skinny and tall man with horns on his head and a pair of bat-like wings on his back. Long Chen almost struck him with his saber on instinct. Wing devil! Long Chen instantly recognized this life form. Although the latter had reserved his devil Kai, Long Chen had killed countless devil race experts. So, he was extremely sensitive toward this aura. Long Chen grabbed the hilt of the Ming-Ong saber and stared at this devil expert vigilantly. This was an absolutely terrifying winged devil expert. How could he appear in the wine god palace? That winged devil smiled at Long Chen's vigilance, and this smile made Yu Qingxuan shiver. It revealed his sharp sawtooth-like teeth. 
It was frighteningly sinister. Your hands are dyed in the blood of my winged devil race. I haven't even formed any hatred with you, so why are you staring at me so hatefully? said that devil expert lightly. Long Chen was shocked. Was this devil also part of the wine god palace? The wine god palace actually permitted the devil races people to come and learn how to make wine. That's because your winged devil race slaughtered my brothers. I personally watched countless innocent humans die to your sharp blades. Why don't you tell me why I would stare at you so hatefully? said Long Chen coldly. Innocent. If that word came from someone else's mouth, then I might accept it. But when it comes from the human race's mouth, it's much harder to accept it. You've already come, so come in and try the wine brewed by my devil race. See if it's to your taste. After saying that, the devil expert actually gestured, inviting them in. Yu King Shuin couldn't help looking toward Long Chen. This devil expert's aura was too terrifying. She was unable to calm down. Long Chen was very shocked at first, but he quickly calmed down. The wine god palace's doors were truly wide open. They didn't differentiate between races, and anyone who wished to could learn about the Tao of making wine. After all, the wine Tao was a grand Tao. Hadn't he intentionally spread the starry river of the sky art as well? If good and bad were differentiated solely by race, then that really would be a generalization. Long Chen nodded toward Yu Qingxuan, indicating her not to be afraid. They walked in just like that. Inside the room, they found that it was a bit different from the other rooms. They kept feeling a sinister aura inside that made them Uneasy, Navaloon, come the two of you are the first guests to come and taste my wine other than my apprentice brothers and sisters ever since I came to the wine god palace 37,000 years ago. I don't know if my poor wine will be able to satisfy the two of you. I'm nervous. The winged devil race expert smiled at them. He was clearly a terrible and brutal winged devil, but his words were very refined. Furthermore, other than that devil Kai, Long Chen was unable to sense any other hostility. The devil expert took out a jug. It was made from the bones of another life form, and the wine cup was also made out of bone. Moreover, when the wine entered the cup, it was actually ink black. Yu King Shuan frowned. She couldn't drink such a thing. Find the original at Navaloon, calm please. The devil expert gestured. Long Chen raised his cup. He then sniffed it lightly and was surprised. Ink bamboo fruit. Black crystal blood rice. These are all ingredients from the devil world. Of course. I am originally from the devil world. The immortal world's things clash with my nature. I cannot fully merge my mind with them, so I can only use the devil world's items to make wine. Please try it, said the devil expert. Long Chen nodded and took a light sip. He was moved. Good wine. What part of it is good? asked the devil expert. I didn't expect that someone from the devil race could have such devotion to making wine. Your entire heart and spirit were put into it. There is a strong evil Kai and a weak righteous Kai. But the evil Kai is unable to suppress the righteous Kai no matter what. Thus, it forms an endless cycle. The wine energy spreads throughout the body in a cycle, refreshing the mind. It also allows one to sense the heavenly Tao's clearer. It truly is a good wine, said Long Chen, barely capable of believing it. How could a life form of the winged devil race make such fine wine? Furthermore, it was made with the devil world's ingredients. Hence, Long Chen found it unbelievable. Based on his understanding, the winged devil race was innately evil. They were greedy, tyrannical, and liked to kill and loot. In fact, he viewed them as lower-grade life forms that only thought of slaughter. But this winged devil expert had toppled this perception. Ah, the devil expert laughed delightedly. 
for you to be able to sense such a thing it means that we are the same kind of people no i am a decent human said long chen refusing to accept such a thing a decent human not necessarily the devil expert looked at long chen with a smile that didn't seem to be a smile my winged devil racist people are innately evil no matter what i do the wine's evil kai will always be above its righteous kai if someone who was purely kind were to drink this wine it would be no different than drinking poison for you to feel such a thing after drinking it proves that you are the same as me inside your evil thoughts far surpass your righteous thoughts thus when you say that you are a human i believe it but as for being decent perhaps only you are clear on the veracity of that hey don't talk nonsense my friend is right here i'm going to become hostile remember i am a good person warned long chen right now he was doing his best to give you king Shuen a good impression of him if this fellow exposed him her good feelings toward him would diminish she might even be on guard against him in any case that would enrage long chen yu king Shuen was speechless when she saw long chen's threatening appearance that appearance was like he refused to admit to it even if he were to be beaten to death she couldn't help smiling he was actually threatening such a terrifying winged devil expert most likely this matter would cause endless jaws to drop if it was spread all right you can count yourself as a good person said the devil expert hastily you are a good person okay come try this other wine that i made the winged devil race took out new wine and gave it to long chen when long chen drank it his kai and blood flipped after that a certain energy within his body grew active it was the dark energy within him it was excited hence long chen jumped in shock and stared at the devil expert the devil expert smiled slightly in truth both of us have heart devils your heart devil is evil while my heart devil is good you wanted to suppress your evil side while i also thought of how to erase my good side but even since throwing myself into the wine dow i gradually came to comprehend many principles that i never thought of before this so-called devil is nothing more than an opposing voice that you don't want to hear a will that you don't want to face just who is the devil that probably depends on your standpoint in the same way good and evil right and wrong there are no absolutes when it comes to these things what do you think about this long chen was silent for a long time before he nodded he had no way to retort suddenly the winged devil expert's hand reached for yu king Shuen's throat he was as quick as lightning as yu king Shuen had no defenses she cried out in shock you're courting death long chen's rage instantly exploded and his hair stood on end he smashed a fist at that devil expert